Yeah. Saw this nigga on Bad Boys, I think, before. When was Bad Boys, 04? Yeah. 06. Yeah. It was 05, for real. We shot it in. Oh, it was 05. That's it came when out I started. 06, though, no, it came out 05. Okay. I started in 05. Yeah. It so came I had seen that shit probably before I. Came out and your five. shit, I was like, oh, this motherfucker got because everybody's shit was sounding like, you know, weird kind of They had heard. so many motherfuckers on there, but it wasn't but a few standouts on there. Yeah. I was trying to say, I swear, that day I said, I can become a star if I boogie down with these motherfuckers. Not like a star. I, I didn't think I, I was like, I probably can become a star. But I said, let me play some shit on here. And hit them, it's like self checkout. Self checkout. Except check out. Except check out. That was the perfect. Much, that much, was the perfect joke to do for that. Right. As much as I wanted to boogie down with these motherfuckers and get up here and talk about this shit or whatever the fuck I was talking about else, the ad fella. Just let me go and drop this on. I ain't got shit else. <laughs> All this other shit is boogie down. <laughs> Just get me this money across the goddamn down, Alabama. Yeah, I call it the boogie down. He was getting the boogie down. No, yeah, you run the crowd. No, I'm down. talking about I didn't give them the, the boogie down is when you be like, who do you lick ass? You lick ass, you know. Who lick ass? Hello? 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 Yeah. Right, uh, yeah, it is the boogie down. Uh, Ty Mills and Jet Wilson. I don't even know if they know where it's at, but they over this way. I think they know. Do they know? No, they don't know. Why would they know? That's what I'm asking you. They don't know. I ain't know either. <laughs> so I guess they know. But I think they pulling up over here. If, How they gonna pull up if they don't know? That's what I did. I didn't even ask, man. They asked you? No, I told them where I was. Oh, they pulling up with you? Yeah. Oh, well, they must have gonna watch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit, I don't know. Is there an iPad in Yeah. It was right here. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Do you know where is it? Playback sound. Is that is uh what this called again? Six fit, six eighty. Playback sounds. Playback. Playback sound. All right. Well, anyway, that yeah, book. Your pocket. Yeah. That book. Him and uh, Jet Wilson. That boogie down. It's that shit you do before you get to the shit you like to do. That shit you have to do for time's sake. You think you grab their attention that they want to hear that everybody yeah. make them raise you don't, up? You don't do as much boogie down when you get to this level right here. Cause everything be working at all times. Right. But back then, that's what I was saying. I could have went up there with that shit. Cause shit, I had been doing, by the time we take Bad Boys of Comedy in 04, I had been doing the shit about two, three years, so it was like, it's a lot of shit a nigga ain't know, and especially on that TV, Tina them threw a nigga on that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Nigga ain't really know that much. Mm-mm. I just knew not to go up there to my who lick ass and where I fucked the bitch at. <laughs> I was running from that shit. <laughs> I was running from a sex joke, but nigga really ain't never seen me do no sex jokes. Much pussies I get, I don't talk about it. It might be how you keep getting it. Yeah, man. Act like a little yeah, docile yeah. unicorn or some yeah, shit. Shut up. Sometimes okay. shit show you something. I used to hate the way Carlos used to talk about me and hoes, man. About what? You used to talk about, I used to hate the way you used to talk about me and hoes. Oh man, fuck this you. You get up there and say any goddamn this thing. This nigga Carlos <laughs> walking to me to me, Kato, you ain't got nothing no more nappy head ass, big stomach bitches or some <laughs> shit. Whatever the fuck he be talking about, man. What the fuck? What them old ratchet ass <laughs> bitches. <What> old... <laughs> <laughs> you know you love old ratchet ass yeah, bitches. Yeah, he accused me of some old shit, man. I be like, what the fuck? Did you like ratchet bitches? He do. Ba no, that was from 01. That was he from, love old that was, hood ass bitches. That was from 01 about when you stop fucking with him. 2014. <laughs> See, nigga, that ain't that long ago. Seven years, man. That's, that's it, enough to get rid of It sounds like a lot, but nigga, I that's was a, round then. That wasn't. A, that's the crazy part. Yo, you don't don't you hate who saw you, but you can't change who saw you. They you can go back and tell a motherfucker, don't see me doing this bullshit, cause you gonna be the nigga that repeated. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga, Unseated. He tell me. 
every fucking time. Nigga, I done knew about 12 different versions of this nigga. You okay. do that too, though, from what I heard. Mm-hmm. What? This nigga call people and tell them the date that they bombed. Yeah, oh, he yeah. do all kind of shit like that. Yeah, I do all that kind of shit. Assholeish type of shit. I don't know, everybody <laughs> bomb. But the thing is, you ain't gonna catch nobody bombing. You ain't gonna find nobody bombing. The ratio in the motherfucker bombing on stage, you ain't gonna find. So when I do catch a motherfucker, it's like finding that book, that big old, you know what they call it, the prize book. I gotta get them. Cause you ain't gonna catch a nigga you wanna get every time. You know, if Clayton bomb, I'm gonna be like, damn, Clayton, you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm a civil side, you know, I'm gonna keep saying shit. It might take me an hour to say a whole bunch of shit, but I'm gonna get it out. This nigga here bomb. <laughs> Everybody bomb, but don't nobody see a nigga bomb. You hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> Who was your year, 2005? Yeah, we started together. 2005. 05, yeah. man. We pulled up on the scene. Oh, see. 05, bad boys came out in 05. I had met you in about 02, though. Me? Had to come to the stage audition. In Birmingham? At the, uh, at the shit on Roswell Road. Oh, you talking about over there, the punchline over yeah, there? Yeah, the punchline. Talking about when uh, everybody was out there, Tiny was out there. Tiny was out B there. Billy's, Billy's the real. Remember Dirty South? Who pulled up South. in the Cutlass with yeah, the dick yeah. suit on? That's when she had the afro. She was fat during South Bend. fat. Man. When was this? It's about 02, 03? No, that was 02. Oh, that, no. was, that, was, that was 04, bro. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was 04. It was for the second season. It was about, I can tell you about at least October, November, something like that, 04. Yeah. I remember I had a beret on when I pulled up out there and I t let the window down. In the white bins. It was black. Big one. Yeah, it was big one. Yeah. Said, there ain't none of y'all gonna be shit or something. Yeah, that was the first thing that he said. Y'all might as well go home. Oh, yeah. Ain't none of y'all gonna do shit. <laughs> y'all niggas ain't gonna do shit. I don't even know why y'all out here. Damn. I ain't know you audition. You audition today? No, I, I ain't go that day. I was so my number was so fucking far down the list. I ain't audition. I was there though. Tiny, damn, them all. Billy Sorrells was out there. Yeah, Billy Sorrells was out there. Tiny was killing. Uh, he was had, he was doing all the sketches and shit then. Tiny was killing him. Tiny, they tiny. Was roasting. Call him, he was calling him gay, calling him bisexual, everything. Tiny was roasting Billy. <laughs> Killing him, man. That was Jack Day. That's Honey Buns was out there. <laughs> they would call him gay too, wasn't it? Back then. Yeah, they were. Yeah. There was a lot of motherfuckers up there. No, nah, they was funny them back in the days, man. Nigga hit you with anything back in the day. I ain't give a fuck what you were. That's one thing about a, a comedian. You can't come with a hell, man. If your leg missing, they gonna say it. It's like nothing. Comedians aren't haters. They aren't haters. They aren't liars. They may be assholes. They may speak at the wrong time, but they're going to tell the fucking truth. It's the truth. To right. them. To them? To them. Damn. But Comedians I really think they be out here telling the truth. No, but guess what, though? How Some far? Some lying-ass niggas out here. I tell them to their face. And guess what? I was, I will, I will. I All comedians don't that. tell the truth. I would stand on that. Mm -hmm. I would stand on that with you. The only reason I'm standing on that with you is just in case some shit come about me, I'm gonna say, nigga, you know these niggas be lying. <laughs> <laughs> but I do believe that they tell the truth somewhere close to it. I feel like I've been knowing you long enough where I'd know some bullshit if I hear it. Yeah, me too. I mean, I would know it. I, w I would know some bullshit if I hear about somebody, but that's the sad thing about it. In the years I've been in the game, ain't nobody I ever ran across been too far off the truth. It's like these niggas is journalists, man. And they really had the information. Nigga call you early in the morning. You know when the comedian call you early in the morning, he talking about some shit. It's it's some bullshit. Going on. Yeah, something happened. It ain't good. Something happened. It, you been up all night. They'll wait the afternoon to book for a show. You. <laughs> nigga call you at 732, pick that bitch up. Somebody did. <laughs> or somebody, you know, some shit. Somebody bombed last night who ain't supposed to bomb. Comedian. I remember back in the day, nigga didn't even wait till you finished bombing. They just, they had you on the phone while you, well, as a nigga was bombing. Hey, you boy up here, catch You bombing right now. You hear him? You hear him? You hear him? They booing the shit out of him. Yeah, man. On speakerphone. Yeah, when you bomb, it's gonna be in, uh, it's gonna be in California, New York, before you get off stage. Before you get off stage, everybody know you bomb. Yeah. 
It can be crowded in the club. If you bomb when you get off, it's gonna be so roomy. Nobody gonna be beside you. It's gonna be roomy as fuck. Yeah. Some motherfuckers <laughs> so notorious for bombing. You already know they bomb before the show even start. Oh, he gonna bomb. <laughs> he probably gonna break. He gonna bomb. What about the comedian that get him in the beginning and you know that's it? You be like, he might as well get on. He can't no follow that. He ain't got no it can only be no funny as hell to see a comedian rip with the set that you didn't seen him bomb with. And they fuck around and rip? Yeah. And you be sitting there like, damn, I doubted the fuck out of him. He got that shit off tonight. But one thing about motherfuckers who bomb a lot, but that, that shit, shit gonna crazy. start working shit. eventually. Just what? stick with it. No, sometimes it don't. I'm telling sometimes you. Sometimes it don't. Sometimes you gotta revamp that whole, you need to rebuild that shit from the ground up, nigga. Sometimes. Yeah. Some motherfuckers, it finally catch, they figure out how to make it work. Sometimes it ain't the jokes. And the sad thing is, them folks still never turns out to actually be, I guess it, comedy is subjective, but they still never turns out to be the kings, I guess, like the ones you would look at and it's called the best comedians. You know how you look at the comedy like, no, that's a funny, not who made the most money. Right. We know that don't count. But, All you gotta do is kind of hit on something. No, I'm talking about the, it seemed like the funniest motherfuckers for real always start out being the funniest motherfuckers. There is no build up process. They yeah, they don't... grow, but they already came in getting like like it, it was never it was never it was corny never a strange thing to get a fucking laugh. Yeah, it was never corny as fuck. Right, it was never corny. So if you start out struggling, if you ever struggle and was in the stinky crew, like that's you, what you call them, the stinky crew, the stinky crew. <laughs> yeah, if you were in the stinky crew, you you get your badge, your diploma. You was in there. I ain't got that shit. Uh -huh. I, I watch y'all come up. Y'all came in the game funny. I tell this nigga all the time. But if you didn't come in the game funny, you like you just like a vampire that been bit. You a vampire now, but you ain't no original. Like the Bram Stoker Dragon, them motherfuckers yeah. was born in Transylvania. They right. were real vampires. You like ass. Your ass came right. to America and got bit. Now you biting motherfuckers. You ain't no real vampire. You sleepy as shit. <laughs> We supposed to be up at night, yeah, man. Yeah, you sleepy and shit, you, cause yeah. you ain't no real right, vampire. Right, right. What time the show start? Little short what, ass. What you give a fuck for? Little, come. We out. Little short ass fangs in his mouth. You know, everybody else fangs hanging he got down. Fang, he got fangs in ears. His <laughs> <laughs> fangs fat as fuck. This shit short as fuck, they on the front too. But like, bro, your shit's in the wrong spot anyway. You ain't no real vampire. <laughs> no. Country ass, Alabama ass vampire. Well, not no disrespect to Alabama, but just American vampire. I feel you. Hey, man, welcome back to the 85, 85 South Show. Mm -hmm. We just in here talking shit today. You know what part to edit? No this, part. No, just play. <laughs> 85 South Show uncut. We All through right. asking niggas to edit. Because <laughs> it won't happen. And niggas will not edit shit. Damn. Clayton, what's happening? You know what it is, man. Man, we got one of our real player partners in Come here Come on, with man. Today. This man here, man. We <laughs> just talking about it. Are they going to see any of that? They going to see all of that. No. Pre-show, oh, so we can't talk about it on here in the we regular voice? We talking about We just talking about it's it. It's our show. Here. OK. Well, let's go. It's black on. Black on. That's what you call operated. like a preview. We did a live preview, bro. And operated. Just to set the tone to let them know the type of that shit That was the trailer. Day. Come on. That's crazy. But yeah, like, this the movie. You looking around and you wondering and you want to see what you're looking at. We got one of our real player partners in here Come today, on, all the way from Memphis, Orange Mountain, Tennessee. Tennessee. Memphis, you know what I'm saying? Orange Mountain to be exact, though. Yeah. Uh, my player partner. Anything, you, uh, anything good you can say about a nigga that's funny. Got one about of the most him. unique styles. Been on all the shit that co real comedians have been on. Like Smart in the bitch. And, Def Comedy Jam and Showtime and all Damn. that old shit. Nigga know man, all he the did all that shit order. and cussed them folks out while he was up there. God yeah. damn. Yeah, damn. Yep. I know he did. Seen him on Bad Boy before I started doing comedy. Damn. Come on, man. And this nigga Made funny. me be like, oh, it's your motherfuckers didn't do it. Every time I done seen this nigga touch the microphone, he done been funny. And I've been I've been in doing comedy for 16 years, and he was doing comedy before I started doing comedy. Damn. And this nigga. One of the niggas that I fuck with, I don't give a fuck. Um, no conditions, nigga. My nigga Kelly K. Dog. Yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, nigga. Man, you gotta show hey, up. It ain't a whole lot of authentic niggas 
that deserve all praise in this game, but you definitely one of them, bro. Hey, man, I appreciate yeah. that. I swear Come to God, on. I'm going to make you some of that coleslaw, man. Man, I don't want none of that coleslaw. shit. <laughs> I got little meatballs in it. I swear to God, you're going to love this cold man, ass coleslaw. Man, get your ass I'll back over there and get to making that corned beef hash, Corn Corned beef hash, man. <laughs> Shout out to Cleveland, Mississippi, man. That's what, up, that, that what he forgot to say in this bitch, man. ATL. <laughs> I wanted man. you to tell him. You did. They already know it, man. They can hear it. Yeah. But it's all good, man. Shout out to Orange Mountain, East Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, East Atlanta in the motherfucker, man. Shouts out to the whole ATL. Right. You did all that you, shit. Hey, hey man, I apologize because last time you was on this show, I had some fine sitting in your lap, and I ain't got nothing to really offer you. You know what I'm saying? You did the whole episode of little fine joint on your lap. Oh, yeah. I swear to God, man, that was so unexpected. The reason why, man, like, I swear to God, when I saw him, my dick got hard. So when you put it in my lap, I had to get, man, I was like, what the fuck? He done threw me off, man. That motherfucker was fine. I been know her. Yeah. I been know her before she was goddamn famous. So right. I had already been on some old looking at her type shit. And when you right. you did put it in my lap, and that well, was That's just what I'm saying. It's like, like, yeah. yeah. No, no, that's I the type of shit. Fuck. The real shit. Well, they did the whole episode. I, I did. She was like sitting there random, bitch. Whole, like, yeah. I had to get ready to fuck a random bitch, right. but I was already ready. That shit was already. But I was just letting you know that's how much I fuck with you. It's like, I yeah, feel like you, you deserve that. the best shit. Man, when you did that shit, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I went and told some motherfuckers about you. <laughs> I, I swear to God, bro. Like, right. I went and told motherfuckers about you. They were like, why you all on Carlos? I was like, man, it's because it's just you ain't going to understand. You got to watch man. And then when the shit hit the fan, I was like, I told y'all niggas. Man. When she jumped on that little nigga and, I, and whatever, you know what I mean, what happened? Right. 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 I was like, I told y'all, right. man. Man, these niggas don't be knowing, bro. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna go on like this motherfucker. <laughs> nigga already did the shit you talking about a long time Stop, ago. Right. Long time Stop. ago. Oh. Hey man, for real, man. I had to hit y'all though. Oh. I said, when I'm coming back. <laughs> but I thought you were just gonna leave it right there. How you topped it? You right about that, man. That's why he asked, it was it just us when he sat down. Hey, why well, I did it, I said, is it just us? <laughs> I was sitting waiting on you to have uh whatever, what's her name? The uh the one with the long tongue. What's the girl name? Kate. With the V uh, with a VV. Pretty V? Cash. VV. I don't know that. Who? She got a name VV. Some on Don't show it to me. I don't need to know. Man. No, it's Cash with a V. Yeah, that's it. Stop, relax. No, I, don't, I, don't I don't know. know. The, I don't know no I don't know. Sometimes I just know answers to the questions that are asked. I know you be having them on here, man. No, it's just like, I don't. I ain't had none on here. Because I don't want to bring, like, one OnlyFans girl on here, and then it'd be like, why you bring her? Bring me. And then you had to bring a hundred oh. of them. And no, then I they are now they in competition. And then you fuck around and you bring the finest one, and now you ain't get, you can't bring no more. They're not doing no work on the OnlyFans. Like you on somebody OnlyFans? No. I'm just oh, are you on somebody? Mm -mm. What's that? I ain't on that either. Have you ever been on somebody's OnlyFans? No, nah, they leak, and you get to see them. The hackers uh -huh. hack them, and everybody out. No, the preview enough for me. That's where I'm at with it. You can tell they lazy. They they don't have no camera work. It ain't like the old school porn. Oh. I ain't, that's why I'm still with that, like a tape in a VCR. I ain't no, really I'm on good. that phone. I, I, ain't had, I ain't seen nobody I wanted to see naked bad enough to pay no subscription fee. Nobody? Nah. Damn. That's how it is, man. Nah. You see so much. That's why I'm glad I ain't seen shit yet. Yeah. So I can keep seeing shit. I keep being amazed by all this shit. Sevens and eights and shit. Yeah, man. I'm not about to, I'm not doing that. That's yeah, really I just. I have seen too many naked bitches. Damn. I like bitches with clothes on. I feel like. I don't want to see Dressed nothing up. that don't nobody want me to see. If she ain't showed it to me for free, I'm definitely not finna pay for it. Hey. No, I ain't gonna pay for it either. Yeah, like I'm gonna skip over all the shit that I could look at for, look at for free and go buy some shit. You got me fucked up. I won't pay for it because I don't like doing administrative work. I ain't finna be filling shit out on the internet. Or no, that no shit it's like just that. great, man. At the, at the, when all else fails, I know it's at least nine bitches somewhere that like me, and I'm gonna find them. I'm not, I'm right. not gonna resort to buying nothing. That's what I, yeah. Nah. Bro, I live, nah. I stand on that. Nah. I'm a cold nigga. I was out here, if I was out here thriving before the internet. Before nothing. I knew what it was coming to. Yeah. I'm not buying no digital pussy, man. I'm not doing that shit. Like you said, <laughs> I'm if, not. You was, if you was funny when you started, if you was fucking Nigga, I before, was funny before I was a comedian. You had, then, 
Yeah, that would happen. Yeah. I grew up in a that time when you actually had to talk We didn't to even women. know these niggas. The niggas wasn't even around. They was in their basements and shit. And they never came out. Now they are being able to go in their basement and type, tap on and get right on the bitch page and send them little folks. What it is? How much money? It depends. Oh, it varies from chick to chick. You know how much money is it to get on there? Oh, it's at least, I think you get at least a dollar. A dollar? At least, <laughs> just say on the, at the bare minimum, a dollar. It's, oh, that, uh, that, there's some bitches that's free with no subscribers. Hmm? But then there's some of them who think highly of themselves and they got people paying 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 dollars a month. The supermodel charge like 40 something. It depends on what your fetish ain't is. Ain't that a bitch? I ain't paying for she nothing. That's naked. why I said those are the people, the, the niggas that never been out in the streets and never been out to go to the bars and shit. That means if you got time to pay for that subscription, that means that you have enough free time to just jack off whenever you want to. No. That's <laughs> you ever think about that? That means you don't have like no more responsibility. You just free to jack off at any point of the day. <laughs> you don't got no family. You don't, you, you ain't got no wife, clearly. That's why right. I say it's just weird dudes. Just weird dudes just somewhere at the bathroom in the basement with the laptop jacking off standing up. 90% of these OnlyFans women ain't even naked. That's the part they don't tell you. They closed up. It's a lady on there who posts her feet Hula and hoop. toes who make 100000 a month. It's people that got fetishes like that. Oh, man. Bitch put... Ketchup and mustard all over her body. This girl used to like licking in my neighbor. I used to let her, man. She's just licking my goddamn neighbor, man. I used to just pull up, let her lick in my neighbor, and go on nowhere about my business. See, that's what. <laughs> who freaked you or her? I just let her do it because she was a nice person. I wasn't going to fuck over. No, it didn't. It, I don't know. Like, honestly. <laughs> Before, Wait a minute. I, before I let her in, she was a nice person. She asked to do it. She didn't actually do she it. She just did it. And then she was giving me a massage and she kind of snuck and did it. <laughs> and I, hey, shit, it started from there. This is real shit, though. This nigga here. No, this is real shit. I believe it. Licking on my neighbor. Neighbor lick. So women, I know what women are freaks, man. Women are different type of... Women I, you women. just told her about some shit you let her do. You, I let you her do that. I told you. Too. I told you. You got to take some responsibility. I, told, you know about I don't your take business. no responsibility <laughs> because it ain't like I ever asked her to do it. If you let somebody do some freaky shit to you, you a freak. Not really. Okay. Nah, oh, is that how it works? Yeah. It take two people to be freaking. No. Okay, so is it like, yeah. <laughs> it don't take two people to be, shit. it take two people to have a baby No, it shit. take two people to be doing no some, some freaky shit. Freaky. Cause ain't no way you, you fucking why? somebody and they doing some freaky I shit and you ain't doing it with them. left with it, should prove that. Oh, uh, don't do that. I will. Cause one person can be freaking like, like let's say a rape case or some shit. No, man, so no, you I can't even put that type of shit out. I said, I, I was trying to win the, I was trying to win the negotiation. With no, you. I mean whatever they want. The, everything no. you say after that gonna be downhill. No, I that got, shit ain't. What, well, that like shit I said, ain't. No, no, don't no, say it. No, 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 I ain't going nowhere with that. Yeah. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. What no. I'm saying is. You can not, it ain't gotta be two freaky motherfuckers. One of them could just be I'm, chilling. It, we always, I'm saying though, like, we were not even talking about no extreme situation where it was like against somebody. Well, I'm who still, was, I'm, well, I left that alone. I'm still, I'm back at swear one. I'm just saying. saying, these people have agreed to be fucking. These are two consenting adults who have a mutual contra uh, contract to have sexual intercourse. They are in the point where they both are of, of in agreement. And now somebody just out of nowhere start doing some freaky ass shit. You ain't gonna be like, all right. I'm going to keep fucking, but that's your freaky shit. If, if you fucking somebody and they start doing some freaky <coughs> shit, y'all doing some freaky <laughs> shit. Because if somebody walk in, they're going to say, what the fuck y'all doing? Hey, I don't know, man. I don't know. I okay. Guess. I guess I'm going to have to agree because I can't. I, I, I'm going to have to agree to disagree. I'm just saying. I would have to agree to this agree. So if you fucking a bitch and she do some freaky shit, you just gonna say, she freaky. I don't know, but I done done some freaky shit to a girl and she done be like, hey, 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 and then I did it again and she done be like, come on now, and I did it again, and then she just let me do it and got on up. So what I'm saying is, I, I know she wasn't with it. I did it for 20 minutes and knew she wasn't with it. So we were doing oh, it. Oh, my. I can't, bro, to bro, we gotta talk about something else. I mean, no, you the one. You don't fuck around and get the whole show deleted. I don't know, I'm trying to keep it. With that? No, I'm saying no. she no, she was with it, but it was like <laughs> you had to warm up to it. Had nothing to do with no that again, man. This was like <laughs> you had to warm up to it. Yeah. Okay, man. you had to introduce no, her to it. It wasn't nothing like that. Okay, man. 
I don't even see that at so you know, boy. That day hey, man, welcome back to the 85 <laughs> South Show. Boy. It take two people to do some freaking shit. Mm -hmm. That's the common debate. It take two people. Hey, mm -hmm. man, we had some ladies on here the other week who said <laughs> oh, a woman ain't a hoe until she have at least 75 sexual partners. 75? You think that's a good number? No, you can do two. If you fuck the same niggas in the same workplace, you like already a hoe. <laughs> So you think more proximity. about like, hoe is about yeah, proximity? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Location, location, location. If you, if you location, fuck around location. and get down in Idaho and Florida and New Mexico, oh. you, you long got, as you spread you your hoeing out, you, you have good. to spread that hoeing out, man. <laughs> Ooh, hey, Doug, on some real shit, you that's the, probably some of the best advice you have anybody to. has ever said on here about anything on some hoe shit. As long as you spread it out, you got to spread it out. I'm the same. I'm the same person I am. I, I was, but you know, I used to have them. You know, all right beside each other. Hell no, fuck spread no. Spread it out. I used to spread them out. I don't spread them out no more either, man. But that's what I went to, spreading them out. Right. But you got to spread them out. Don't have them motherfuckers all up on each other. Because if you spread them out, you can't get to them. I'm going to see you tomorrow. All right, I'll get you two days. <laughs> that's see you two days. You in, spread you them in out. motherfucking L.A., man. That's spread a cold them. game. Yeah. I mean, it ain't going to be that convenient for you. But you just got to deal with it. That's the good part. You still have them. Well, that ain't my, oh shit. You done got high. No, I'm saying, I was trying to de denounce it just that fast. What, just you was trying to undo just, it? Just in case somebody just who hear me trouble. talking be like, what the fuck? Oh, you do? yeah, you definitely got to watch what you say these days. I know, nah, yeah, you do. But hell, I don't really be giving no fuck about it that I much. know you don't. Sometimes you just say shit to make people mad. How you be knowing that? Because I know you. <laughs> just like you've been saying for, about how long it been that them niggas ain't walked to Ferguson? You know them niggas ain't walked to Ferguson, though. <laughs> because I was on the treadmill for about, I did about three hours on the treadmill, and my motherfucking knees and ankles, and I was a strong, healthy guy, man. Ain't nobody running no motherfucking Ferguson. Your damn shoes and knees would be wore, your cartilage and your knees would be wore the fuck the out. The cartilage. Yes, bro, your cartilage can't withstand. <laughs> they didn't do it, bro. No, they didn't. I know they didn't do it because one of my homeboys, baby mama, told me they saw the niggas at a baby shower. <laughs> so, I ain't no way to fuck. That was for been that Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm like, nah, bro. Oh, them, them, niggas ain't walked, them, them niggas ain't watching us Ferguson. No, nah, and they did it for, they supposed to did it for Mike Brown. I was like, nah, bro. Boy. Y'all ain't did a goddamn thing for that boy. They ain't walked there. No, they ain't walked. And then they admitted it. We did one of them. Then they admitted it. The nigga kind of like admitted it. He was like, man, we ain't run all the way. Why they act like they did? <laughs> what they, they did? They, they, they hopped on the back of a, a truck? What they was doing? I don't know, man. The niggas drove up there and got out. And took pictures. <laughs> no, and recorded running. They never had did a 360 at the camera, I guess. Oh. If you did a whole 360, you just saw the car back there. <laughs> <laughs> they had a little Ford Ranger back there or something. I don't know, man. The nigga just told me. I wasn't the first person to say it. I just was running with something. Just fucking with them. Just fucking with them. I don't really know if them niggas ran. They didn't. Hey, man, the hash brown joke going crazy on the internet. Yeah, man, that was a good put-together joke, man. One of them jokes you put together. <laughs> it was just a good put-together joke about some shit about nothing. I think people call it the hash brown joke, but the shit is actually a gambling joke. Right. It's a gambling yeah. joke. Who gamble? Yeah. Playing the lottery. And then it gets down to McDonald's. Then it gets down to the hash brown. And then niggas say, fuck it, it's a hash brown. Because they call it the dog joke. But it's actually a crackhead joke. It's just a crackhead selling me stuff. Sold right. me a picture of him when he was a little boy. He right. sold me a Rottweiler. He sold me a Rottweiler with no legs. <laughs> and then the self-checkout you scan joke ain't even a self-checkout joke. It's really just a stealing joke. It's a I'm stealing talking joke. About yeah. stealing. I'm yeah. just talking about stealing. I went over here, went over there, went over there, and then you I stole went the wrong shit. Then I stole the wrong shit. Exactly. <clears throat> you ever stole the wrong shit? Now you gotta steal your, you gotta sneak your shit back you and steal sneak the shit that you want. Back to the store <laughs> and re-steal. You ever re-stole some shit, <laughs> nigga? Then re-stole, <laughs> rolling. Yeah. Re re-stole some shit again. Double A batteries. You want a triple A? It is what it is, though. <laughs> Motherfucking jokes. Bro, you got a lot of them though, jokes man. Jokes keep you alive. That motherfucking <laughs> the president joke hit hard, bro. 
Especially when you do that shit in the, in the hood room. Man. That was a joke I did for about a year, man. Right. Because to be honest with you, I couldn't make it funny, man. I really stutter stepped on it because I just chilled on it, man. Because really I wanted to get into more of just black, black history. Hey, I'm Carlos Miller. And when I'm in a rush to find some food, but want some healthier options, HelloFresh is right there to help. With HelloFresh, you get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items to choose from every week, from vegetarian meals to calorie-smart choices to extra special gourmet options. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. There's something for everyone to enjoy with recipes designed and tested by professional chefs and nutritional experts to ensure deliciousness and simplicity. HelloFresh's family-friendly menu is a big win for back-to-school season with easy, delicious recipes for drama-free dinner. Get better value. HelloFresh is over 30% cheaper than shopping at a grocery store with pre-portioned ingredients that ensure you won't spend money on excess food that ends up going in the trash. HelloFresh offers the flexibility you need to easily customize your order on the app within minutes. I made the old school barbecue pork sloppy joes with potato wedges and chipotle ranch. It was magnificent. Easily change your delivery date, food preferences, and plan sizes, or skip a week whenever you need to. So make sure you go to HelloFresh.com slash 85South14 and use code 85South14 for up to 14 free meals, including free shipping. What's up? I'm Clayton English. Football is right around the corner and there's no better place to get in on the action than with DraftKings, the official daily fantasy partner of the NFL. It's simple. Just pick your lineup, stay under the salary cap, and see how your team stacks up against the competition. As the season is quickly approaching to bring you even closer to the action, DraftKings has given all new players a free shot at a million dollars during week one. And while you're perfecting your daily fantasy skills, don't forget to check out DraftKings' free-to-play pools where there is even more cash up for grabs. Head to the app now. If you haven't tried DraftKings yet, now is the perfect time to test your strategy. Don't miss out on the action. Enter code 85SOUTH to get a free shot at millions of dollars in prizes with your first deposit. Nothing adds to the excitement of watching a game quite like having a free shot at huge cash prizes. Download the DraftKings app now and use code 85SOUTH for a limited time New players can get a free shot at a million dollars during week one. That's code 85 South, only at DraftKings, the official daily fantasy partner of the NFL. Minimum $5 deposit required. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com for details. Hey, I'm Carlos Miller. Women say there's nothing sexier than confidence, and Blue Chew can help give you your confidence where it counts. Guys, confidence can take you far in life. It can also help you in the bedroom, especially when it comes time to step up to the plate. That's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable tablet and at a fraction of the cost. The best part, it's all done online. So no visit to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepare and ship direct to your door in a discreet package. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use promo code 85SOUTH at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code 85SOUTH to receive your first month free. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. Uh, the president was cool. It was just some be, me being a coin collector, and I just just kind of knew some shit anyway. So it was kind of like second nature. Mm -hmm. But I started dabbling into a little more black history. Like what? Just all of the inventors, all of the motherfucking activists, all of the ones that was before that. Just the African, the African motherfuckers. Just I just looked at a list, which I don't know much about. That's a list of African people, even the ones that didn't make it, like the Marcus Garveys, mm. that really didn't get out. I want to look more into what the hell happened with him. I don't know. 
because I knew a lot about, you know, presidents <coughs> and just American history. But when he came out of black and leading back to Africa, I'd probably make a 17 on the test. So I started indulging in a little more of that. You know, I always like to think of shit from the other perspective. I wonder if Africans ever be like, leave our history alone. <clears throat> it's not yours, <laughs> nigga. But it wasn't even theirs. It was just leading back up into that point. <laughs> it was just to, just leading back up into them, you know, right before the niggas came over here. I don't want to go you back. You think niggas came here? I think niggas was here already. That's my theory. Well, I think niggas, was, if niggas was first, right, that mean niggas had to be first everywhere. It couldn't just be in one place. So in the world, niggas was the first motherfuckers in the world. Only way if you would say that, if you would say Indians is niggas, which a lot of people say. But That's why they still brown. They just, they niggas too. They was niggas at first. We talking about the fat face, big nose niggas, man, in Africa, man. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Those motherfuckers <laughs> over there, man. They Them got, black they ass, got, but see, that's the thing. African they, niggas, It's man. more than, it's a whole, it's I knew it, but even 200 we, million different kinds of motherfuckers <clears throat> that you could be over there. I know, I'm telling you, even when I think about even the, the South Sudan people, the Somalian people, even the uh, South African people up to the West Coast and the Nigerians or whatever, right, right across Chad, I still think they all kind of look like Africans. But then when you get to the Indians, they look like more like a, something like a, you know, Eskimo or Samoan. So it's almost like they really not us. Even if a nigga was to say that they us. They but see, this is the thing I'm saying. You can go to any one of them countries and you can say, okay, these people, not us. But in, you Where have- your black people? But man. what I'm saying though is every one of them countries got a version of black people. They yeah, might not be the ones that they say, hey, these are these kind of people. No, but if but you listen, get to looking Lose, around, you be like, Lose, them some niggas right there. But now, Los, every <clears> place, <throat> every place that po' be niggas got niggas that look like either you, you can go on over there to the East Coast with exactly. them niggas, and I can stay on the West Coast, and you can fuck around. They send you to Cape Verde and somewhere. But I'm saying, <laughs> even if, but if you go to Cape Verde, they gonna have some niggas over there, and they gonna have some other people over there. All like but that. every, no every space in the world no, got their version of niggas. Like you said, some Eskimos. If you go where the Eskimos live, you're gonna be like, okay, them the Eskimos. And then you're gonna see some niggas too. That's what I'm saying. But tell me some niggas that been there for some black Eskimo. They go, it's some black version of everything that's <laughs> on this fucking Eskimo. world. If you go to India, they got some niggas over there black. I know, I seen shirt. them motherfuckers. Them bitches black. And then the they other Indians Indian like, like, they, 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 they not Indians. Them some whatever the fuck. No, they gonna have a name for them too. Yeah. And they're pretty much just gonna be like them the nigga version of what the fuck black. they are. Some of exactly. the Indian motherfucker blacker than the Africans that's over in the in the Exactly. Do you think the Indians that you talking about don't look at them? and be like, nigga, but it don't be that word. It's the same word that mean nigga, though. What word is it? I don't know. It's, it's in every country they got a word yeah, that they mean got, nigga. They, yeah, it's, 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 so that lets you South know Africa, that they got, they've they been having some else. niggas over there. Schwartzman. Exactly. <laughs> Schwartz means black. That's Schwarzenegger. Right. So that means when that, whatever country you point to, niggas was there first, right? If that's the case. That's my theory in my life. Where the black ones at? Yeah. So Africans weren't there first, but niggas were. No, no. Africans. So Africans okay, are let's, niggas let's, too. Let's erase the word niggas, right? You so, gonna erase it? No, I'm saying because that that's really kind of like saying not much. But when we say <laughs> Africans, okay. so you saying Africans yeah. are everywhere in the Eskimo in the in the United States with them Indians on the on the on the with the boat bow and arrows and shit. I'm saying, like, okay, you're the story of the evolution, right? That from what all the science they have, they say that the first people was black. That means in the entire world, the first people that was here was black people. Yeah, you know, you know what? I'm gonna stand for that because I'm black, so that's cool. I'm trying to really figure out, like, so where are we from? The black people, or are we from African? Them, them, the niggas in Nigeria and Gambia. The chances oh, are you are from exactly where you were born at. There is, this is a big myth that all black people in America came from another place. Oh yeah, so I fuck around and can be from you right now. You could be, for, you could be from where the fuck you was born at, and you don't gotta trace your family history. You standing on it. 
So, black so, people. so in a nutshell, my family ain't did shit. It's they not that your around. family ain't did shit. I just said the chances are that you are a native to the soil that you're standing on better than you, you taking a fucking cotton swab and letting these people try to convince you that you're from some place that you, you ain't never heard of. Yeah, that's a hell of a mood. That's a, so that's you saying we was already here and wasn't no slavery? Bingo. Oh, they ain't go get them people. I'm not saying that it wasn't no slavery, but I'm just saying that it was some. They didn't have to go get everybody. They went and got a. They went and got some people, but it was some people standing right here when they got here too. Shit. So they native. Okay. They Native American. Man, how you still believe the shit that you know came from people who didn't lie to you about everything they ever told you? Yeah, man. Why is it so hard to let go of the shit that they told you? Why do you have to accept that as the truth? If you know now how they get down. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> shit. I guess so we supposed to listen to you. Not like in a sense, no, but like, you know what I'm just, saying? Like, no, I'm t no. <laughs> whoever was saying it, because it seemed like when you put shit together, the Native Americans, even they saying they was here. So not just the white man is saying the Native Americans is like we was here first. Hell, you got white people saying the Native Americans. But the Native Americans ain't never said we was over here by ourselves. They was it was some motherfuckers over here too. Well, damn. Nobody but, ever said but that. But then they, they just would have been Native Americans. But it was some niggas over here too, and they was like, them niggas, they not us. They the blacker ones. Exactly. So it's they, some, man, don't go over there. So Why not? Because they got black people over there. They black. The black they black. Ones. Then blacker than the smoke. So you ever what seen? you saying is they took some slaves from here. No. And they took some slaves on Bruh, ships. Or listen, no slaves okay. on ships. Or no slave. What? What? What you saying? Okay, I'm listen to, to this. <laughs> They bought, that's what they came over here that with some motherfuckers bad. that I, they bought. The Africans bad. that they brought, that the bad. ones that was over on that the boat at first, bad. had to teach them how to get over here. First of all, who the 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 people who was telling them how to get over here, they was black. So they did bring some motherfuckers, but when they got here, guess who they saw? Niggas. Some niggas. Who brought them? Did nobody bring them? Cause they was here already. That's my whole point. When them motherfuckers pulled up the first day, before they seen some Indians, they yeah. saw some niggas. But why them niggas look so much like the niggas in Africa over there? The ones in the pictures. Cause it was, like I'm saying, the, when it was the first people, it was niggas all over this motherfucking <laughs> world. It was niggas on every piece of this planet. Just niggas everywhere. Not saying that it wasn't nobody else, but niggas, they already told you who was first. So everything after that, that's what I'm saying. I think it was first on that continent. I honestly believe that that black people were first and they were really only on that continent. Right See, that's then. what I'm saying. It wasn't the only though. The yeah, same way that saying. everybody else was here, black people have been here on every part of this earth. You didn't, it didn't like they all started out in one place and spread out. They was already there is what I'm saying. They was native to every part of the world. So how is it that? So what happened to them? Yeah, how did they come down to these slaves and just never had nothing? They can't even trace back to them. It's been eradicated that much to where they ain't even. Bro, if you're doing some dirty shit, you're not going to keep up with it. No, I understand that, but if somebody going to keep up If you stealing niggas from right here in America, and they be like, where you get these motherfuckers from? Uh, Africa. These, these Africans, they don't got no paperwork or nothing, but they mine. So you mean like 12 years of slave? Niggas in there, that's why they tied their mouth up. Nigga, I'm from Mississippi. Get me out this motherfucker. <laughs> he crazy. He been working in Mississippi. He think he's from Mississippi. I told him he's from Mississippi. <laughs> they ain't trying to. All right, man. So Dang. like 12 years of slave. Yeah, you can believe you whatever you want to believe. I they believe just, all okay. kind of shit. But I'm telling you, on every corner of this earth, it was some other motherfuckers, but black people was there too. Yeah, man. Everybody ain't come from Africa, man. But if that's when civilization started, then didn't everybody come from Africa? <clears throat> that's where the first person came from. Maybe. 
Maybe that's the first motherfucker that they found. Yeah. The first people. You think that's how it's fucking crazy this is? They didn't convince us that they didn't found the first motherfucking people. Stop playing, bro. The first people they found. That's the first people they found. That don't mean that was the first no, motherfuckers don't mean here. No, the first people. Yeah. Who was they? The first that's people they I found. Get. <laughs> That, that's why I get Where they mom and them at? That's why I get lost there right there. <laughs> Bitch, if it's one motherfucker, it's some more motherfucker. We, Keep found, going. we found the first people. Keep going. <laughs> the first people you found. <laughs> find some more. Come on. You Who keep was finding the older ones. Man, you know. But they all in Africa. That's where they keep on earth. I, I can I can believe it started in Africa just by the color black. Okay. So Africa is the center of civilization. I think it's the center. Cradle of the center of civilization. And everything just sprung I just from don't, I don't even know. I that just, might be Mesopotamia. Okay, okay. We don't know. We that ignorant. Social okay, status. Okay, guess what though? Ignorant and then just really of the unknown is right. two. It's, it's two different things because at the end, like what about the Asia and the Moscow's and Europe's that's like Fully white and the history is like old, like in a t Italy, like an old ass culture. But that's as old as they can allow it to be. No, I got they, you. I they, got you. Even in the history, you no, think they you. gonna put the niggas in there? No, I got you, man. I think understand. about labor and shit. So if niggas been slaves all around the world, who did all this writing and shit? You think white people sat there and wrote that shit? They had some niggas right there that already knew how to write. Some niggas from Africa. Some niggas from right there too. <laughs> They had some Africans, but they had some niggas that was there already. Shit. That's kind of... Okay. No. Get on the internet and start looking up all these tribes of people and motherfuckers who was native to the soil who would never step foot on there again because they killed every lad. They killed whole generations and whole species and whole tribes of people. That's the first thing they do when they go to a new place is kill all the motherfuckers who was there and leave the people who look like us, but they gotta kill the native motherfuckers. You know how many people have been wiped out in the world because they was too dark living in these nice ass places? You can look that shit up. I know about the aboriginals and all these types of people. That's what they call them, nigga. Yeah. What the fuck is an ab original? That means that you, you are abnormally original? I don't know. I don't think it's the same. Absolute original. <laughs> I don't think it's the same. I don't know. Aborigin. Right. Aborigin. That means that these motherfuckers was there when you got there. That's oh, basically yeah. all it means. They was there way before. Think of how many places that they can't go right but now. But the thing about it is, they got record of that. Why wouldn't they have record of the people being in Italy before them? They got record of people being in Australia and America before them. Well, the, everybody know, know that the Moors was in Italy. The, goddamn the nigga showed up and took holes. over Italy and made that motherfucker this nice. This nigga that went on a rabbit That's why Italy nice now. With a nigga that breathe heavy. <laughs> you said who? <laughs> this nigga, what? one of them niggas that breathe heavy on the YouTube video. Who? <laughs> so, as you can see, <laughs> with the one picture and the be crooked. <laughs> Look right here. This is Jesus walking over to the Mayflower with some golden slippers on in Italy in 14 AD. And you said a nigga came the over to Italy and clean. That's what I'm saying. He came over no, there. No, man, Italy was trash till the Moor showed up. The niggas, That's what I'm had, saying, the niggas the went to Italy. Yeah, so, so they where they was from? People, where they was from? They was already. Well, you, you know, it's some native motherfucking niggas in Italy. The native niggas. Because of the Moors. The Moors came and did the fucking, and then they left the river, and it's in the stream. Something like that, because we have. We're leaving out too Not many something details. something like it, it is. All right, whatever. <laughs> so you, the niggas showed up over there. It's, it's, it's something to that extent. We all just threw pieces. It. We almost got it. We threw pieces, pieces of right shit in there. This nigga got a chalkboard up in his head. <laughs> we like, we Come almost. On guys. We got to get, hey. We almost. Don't forget about Australia. Don't got bro. this. Now this shit, shit they got deep. This weed is educational. Mm-mm. Is it? No, it's, it's just good to just have healthy debates about shit like this. It's the world. Politicking. Yeah. It is what it is, man. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to speak on what I do. But you know what? We all right in a sense. I don't want to be right. <laughs> you fucking I want to be righteous. Right. 
<laughs> there you go then. I don't, don't want to be right. If you fuck around and be right, it'd be too much to deal with, man. Like, damn, I was right like a mother. Been wrong in a bit. I wish y'all were wrong. Hey, y'all to the law. J-O-N, <laughs> what you think? This nigga just said, I agree. That's the light skin shit you could say. I agree. <laughs> I agree. You tried to say it on beats of that techno. You agree to what? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. That little Vice City. How you feel about this new strain, man? This new virus or whatever, no? Oh, I don't know, man. I just pray it away. I'm just trying to stay the fuck out of his way, man. This <laughs> shit. They done put this the shit news on this here, motherfucker, man. man. They ain't put the news on no, none of this like they put on this one. They done put the news on this motherfucker here. Right. With Ebola and all the other, whatever the hell he had out here. They put a little news on it. We ain't do much. Not even. They trying to shut down again. Yeah, it's about that time, man. She I get real. Y'all, y'all, y'all they, did too much. They better not make it normal to shut down. That's what they think they trying to do. Make it normal to shut down. They can just... Niggas did roll loud. Yeah, man. If you ever suck dick in the parking lot, make some motherfucking noise. <laughs> Damn. Uh oh. <laughs> they knew they shouldn't have had that what shit. When all them TVs eight, fell down, hey, that man. was the sign. You remember that? Hey. When that wall of video yeah. screens fell down, it, it, it almost landed on their ass. That's when they should have called it off. Packed in a bitch. Yeah, boy. After they talking about nobody, you think? Well, I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't know what to ask. You you think it's supposed to be this much backlash with that shit with old the baby? Do I think? I don't, man, I don't, don't even know. have no opinion on no shit like that. Because everybody that done got canceled done, done had a better career after that. <laughs> I think if you get canceled, that's exactly what you were trying to do. How you going? I don't know. Right. It really just, you getting uninvited to all these places that you didn't want to go to anyway. If these are the type of people you don't want to be around, right? Mm, yeah. I don't know why that was know. on his mind. I never liked it when the DJ said shit like that. Yeah, that shit don't even mean. Anybody got AIDS in the club? Oh, no, you it. didn't say it, this nah, shit. Nah, I'm thinking about this shit. Why the fuck you say this shit? Cuz, I don't see why you would say it. Cuz you but, just saw how sensitive them people are. Take this But out. that wasn't even about them. Why did they put themselves but this, in the Anytime time you mention that, that, anytime you mention some shit that people think that they, that like they're the- They ain't the king of the- Yes, that's the world that we live in now. Lot. If you mention motherfuckers with bad feet, they gonna cancel you. <laughs> All of them. They they might have. Yeah. It's not a joke. <laughs> they might have jumped the gun on one. They might have jumped the gun on one because of what he did, said why before. All that. The, the women suck dick in the park a lot. Ain't no women then out there. Then they gonna say you slant, you you shaming the sluts. You can't say nothing no more. Yeah, I feel you know. You I can't understand. call people fat. No, you I gotta got you. say obese. Yeah, I got you. You can't say <laughs> this. You that. gotta call them little people. You can't call these attack, kind of people I think they attack these the kind baby. of people. I think if they you call the them baby. a freak, then you kink shame it. If you, if you don't believe in big DJs people, do that it's all fat phobic. It's everything got a label and, on it, bro. You, you know what, though, Los? Clayton said he don't see why they said that, but in them clubs, see, you, I don't know if you host those rap shows, but I do. I don't know if you host hard rooms all the time, but I do. No, but I've seen it. Yeah, but you don't host them. And the call and response, you gotta say that. How many, you, I got some fucked up call and response shits that I got kicked off while now, for. You gotta say them shit. Well, I shouldn't have said it. No, you Where don't. Like you don't have to. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you That's don't why know. I was with Hold on. Like, Hold on. Well, let me say this. You wouldn't know. You don't host that kind of, when you go to hosting that kind of shit, Clayton, you would know what the fuck you gotta say. But you don't know because you don't host. You stay safe. You do comedy clubs. You do all this stuff. You don't go up in that shitty ass shit. And when you go up in that shitty ass shit, you gotta say shitty ass shit. And that's just that. But it wasn't that no shitty that ass shit. That was a shitty ass loud shit. And that's reason it worked out just fine until the other motherfuckers got a hold to it and switched it up. It was good. It worked out fine. <laughs> It worked out just motherfucking no, fine. No, that shit worked out terrible. No, uh, in the long run, but in that night on stage, run. it worked out just fine. Later on, it did, but I hope he didn't give a fuck, because that's how I felt about it. I wouldn't he, have gave a fuck. Yeah, he gave a fuck. When he kicked me out while now. But I you don't have to fuck. say that, though. You saying you got to say that specifically. You can't thing. say that, because that's, you don't, Clay, you got to exempt yourself, because you don't do this. You a good comedian, but you don't do this kind of shit. I've we, seen it. I've you, seen I, you, and I haven't seen you no, do listen, it. No, listen, yes, the fuck I do. He know I do it. I'm saying but I've heard it. 
Clayton, yeah. that's the fuck I do. I, 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 I was the first do. nigga to say, if you don't buy my DVD, you gonna catch AIDS tonight. Give my DVD. <laughs> I've been saying that crazy shit. Yes, okay, I do. You have been. Yes, you I have am. Been. I'm telling yeah, you, you wouldn't know. Cause you but you're saying hustle. you have to do it. But bro, when I moved, I moved okay. Atlanta by myself, I had to hustle them bitches. So I had to make you hear what the fuck I was saying. You ain't never had to do that. You ain't getting this game. You ain't come to, you ain't graduate high school and come do comedy. You ain't do that. You ain't on this side with us. We say what the fuck we gotta say, my nigga. You hear me? Then you light skin with But you just said it got you kicked out of some shit. You didn't get me kicked out of shit. Fuck that wild night. I ain't never wanted to do that shit no way. <laughs> Somebody brought me on that shit. They brought me, they asked me to do that shit. I ain't never. But you when I went in there to go fuck it. with it, I gave him Carlos' name. I said, you know, we got a nigga named Carlos around here. That nigga can rap and sing and tap fucking motherfucking. You nigga just paint said your house, it, bitch. You hear me? No, you man. Just said it. What I said? What I right. said? Right. I ain't saying right. shit for what I said. I said, you ain't walk these <laughs> shoes and you ain't got to say what I got to say. And you know you ain't got to say what I got to say, right? You don't have to walk them out of my shoes. You know I walk in there and say crazy shit. Yeah, man. The baby probably do too. He said it. He have to because on a rap show, I didn't went out there with Tip and did 31 sh dates and shit moving around with him. Just you gotta, saying wild shit. So you got to say some crazy shit because then you motherfucker be on that powder pills and all kind of shit. They be on everything. You say, who the fuck on pipe? You ain't on powder tonight. Make some noise. <laughs> Bitch gonna say, I am. We gonna wake up. What the fuck is you talking about? You gotta get out there in that arena, bro, with that microphone, and that's what I do. Shit, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to, you know you my nigga, bro. You my nigga. <laughs> but you can't, half the motherfuckers judge and can't judge. That hey, call, man. You know, man, I ain't trying to make it right. It ain't you just right. gotta, I'm just saying, that ain't all you We're not saying you know the arena to do But then you gotta keep in mind, too, is like, that, like you said, that shit bigger than where the fuck you at, too. You know what? I wouldn't have did it again, but I swear to God, I'd have did it like the first time. I would have did it the first time because that's what I'm gonna do. And then if I got consequences, I'm gonna deal with them. Yeah. I'm gonna deal with them because I know not to all say right, this. But you what, wouldn't have did it again. We can again. debate this part all no, day I long. Do, I this would try question, everything. I would try everything. All right, so say you know. in his position. He done said what the fuck he said. Yeah. He ain't done. How do you fix it? How do I fix it? How would really? You, you know what I would, would do? You, fix it? No, I would, I, you know what I would do? Time. I would go to the king gay dude and look him dead in his eyes and have a conversation with him. Who is the king? <laughs> Whoever the fuck that is that's mad. Whoever the fuck that is that's upset. That motherfucker right go to there, hell. nigga. Go to hell. Come, who the fuck is mad? Meet up with me, man. Come, come talk with me. Don't cancel me behind my back. Meet up with me, my nigga. <laughs> Don't be on that sneaky canceling shit. Come out let me. Whoever the fuck mad, meet up. Everybody, everybody, everybody that's every mad. So, every son of a bitch that's mad. And he's gonna go through the line. I'm, I'm gonna talk to all them son of a bitches right in their face, right here, in the, like a Obama had to do in the town hall meeting. You go, you go. Bring your mad yeah. asses down here because uh, I obviously ain't don't hate you. I obviously ain't got no beef right, against you. Right. I wasn't born in the time where they got down on your monkey asses. Don't blame the shit they did to your ass for. I don't do that shit. I don't talk no shit like that. I might play around, but I don't dis. I don't fuck with nobody. My right. generation ain't do that. To, do do, do that to y'all. Them niggas in the seventies whooped your whole ass up and down the streets. Not me, man. <laughs> niggas in the seventies kicked you all in your ass. Not me. The niggas in the seventies called you all kind of slander. Made your ass sit up there by the bus driver. I ain't do none of that shit right. to nobody. I'm from the eighties, baby. Y'all was. Y'all was already good when I came around. Y'all got your civil rights enough to where I had to respect you. <laughs> that's just the truth, man. Right. So you, that's, that's what, what would you do to fix it? I, yeah. Same shit? To fix it? Yeah. It's fixed. It's fixed. He did it. Time. Oh. Time. You come back, do a song. That's all. Just need I some just want to accept somebody being mad at me. Come out, do a song. With whoever. Whoever. <laughs> yeah. With whoever. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, whoever Listen. from the community. Whoever they let. Talk huh? from that community? Do you yeah, pick from that Do community. you pick or yes, do they let the community pick? You get somebody from the community. It'd be good. You yeah. do songs you gotta be in the time right, plus time plus somebody right. from the community. Yeah. And then as long as that shit it, don't yeah, move, man. you back in there. You're good. You gotta yeah. get money. It happens for everybody else. You gotta get money away. Just you do something from for the community. community. It'll it'll community. Be okay. it'll, it'll be as soon as you pull somebody from the community on the track, you talk it out. <laughs> like 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 the I wouldn't talk to all of them, but that shit is that that shit shows you know what I'm saying the willingness to make it right. But yeah, I'll definitely make but, it right. 
Uh, no, but yeah, Put get somebody the track. from the, you know, from the, the community. Track. From the community, and then do, do, track. do the track. Whoever, whoever meet you halfway. Yeah, I would think so. Cause they gonna say, they gonna say, cause then they gonna try to see if he's still not, let's see if he's sorry. That's probably. What if, what if you just pulled a classic like, no. white rock star excuse, tell him you was on some sleeping medication or some shit. <laughs> yes, Man, drugs. I was exhausted. Man, I was dehydrated. Drugs. I was dehydrated. No. <laughs> I hadn't ate, I had flew in that morning. I didn't get to go to sound check. <laughs> and it was hot out there. I was sweating. I didn't have no water. Damn. A lot of people don't know. I had to go get four IVs after this show. For real. It be somewhere that simple. <laughs> Fuck it, man. I'm not just going to go out there and act like that was just me fucking up. I agree, man. That's what white celebrities do. Don't never take full responsibility for some shit, man. Oh, man. Damn. Go talk to that lady. Whoever that lady is, it could be for 10 minutes. As long as you go talk to that lady. You straight, bro. Come back to work with a doctor's note. <laughs> I was on this new medication for my migraines, man. I'm, hey, it was not me. <laughs> I was taking pain pills. I was on pain pills. Man, I had surgery on my ankle. I found some pills in my bus and I was so depressed. No, don't say that. I grabbed the bottle. You gonna take the junkie route? And I took all of them. <laughs> And I went out there on that stage and the rest of the night was It's blurred. a blur. <laughs> I don't remember much of anything. Classic. That's um, what I'm talking about. That's the anything. Hollywood I want to be a part of. I remember going back to the trailer, to the bus, and I collapsed from heat exhaustion. Show up and then be like, look, I was working on this character for this movie. Method A. Right. <laughs> they, yeah. Do you need a PR And then we working on 8 Mile 2. My cameras was in the building. I needed that footage for this documentary that I'm doing. I didn't mean no disrespect to nobody. I needed that clip so I could send it back to this, whatever. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Welcome back. We are talking about whatever the fuck we want to talk about because my Shit partner in, my in the man. house, K-Dub. Hey, How man. you feel about it, bro? What you got coming up? Too. Man, really, I got so this Boosie movie, man. I'm waiting on that to come out. Why do you wait this long to tell me about that? What's that? The Boosie movie. What you mean, why I wait long? Why you ain't told me? We've been here this whole time talking about human evolution and shit. Oh, you yeah. ain't told me nothing about the movie, bro. The movie, I just said it. You ain't like, driving. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't know when Boosie gonna drop. You know, Boosie go on Instagram and ask a motherfucker who he know who gonna drop the movie. Well, his Instagram to be deleted. He should be on there a lot. Because he got two pages he working off of. Oh, right okay. Now. He, he got track. these back again and Boosie. Bro, Instagram really ain't the same since they deleted Boosie. If they knew his, his social value, they would definitely reactivate his page. They deleted my page, shit. Right. I still ain't got it back. I was at 108 or something like that. 108, I'm back down to 13, but it's cool. I like it. I like that 13,000, man. You lost it? They took your account? Yeah, they you took my hat? account. Yeah, cool. but they took it. Why well, we can't? Yeah, I was goddamn moving up pretty good, man. They even took that motherfucker from me. I'm at 13. Y'all follow me, Comedian k one Follow me, follow me, follow That's me. That's the thing about it. Once they see you start making traction on there, something's going to happen. Yeah, they took that shit. They Wait, took you okay? it. okay? Motherfucker over here choking and shit. Oh, man. You know I mean? <laughs> We're not gonna ignore that. <laughs> go. You gotta go. You thought we were just gonna keep fucking going? You gotta go. <laughs> Bro, you tripping. You gotta go. You gotta go. <laughs> this nigga can cough up a hairball and just go fucking. <laughs> you gotta go. What? That's real, that, that guy there. You got that, the boo boo that, thing. That, that Kobe, you gotta go. That, that Kobe, <laughs> that ain't that Kobe 19 either, man. They got that Kobe. Oh, my God. Kobe Dyer. You no, go. that Boosie movie, man. Waiting on that to drop, man. I'm playing. Uh, I'm, I'm in jail with him. Okay. I'm giving him that game. Okay. Them As only you can. Yeah, giving him that game in jail, putting him down, man. Right. When he get in there, he ain't got a goddamn 24 months. So I don't know what the fuck he got that sad ass face for in jail. That's what I'm on him on. Right. He got <laughs> two years and you ain't looking sad, boy. Nigga, <laughs> that nigga, how many years you got? I said, nigga, I, I. I don't know, he said two years or some shit. I'm like, nigga, I beat up my grandma to get out this motherfucker right now, nigga. I've been in this bitch since I was 17 years old. I don't know how old I was. I had been in that bitch that long, it was in the script. I had wrote it out. 
Ain't nothing like that in a movie, man. You done done some movies, ain't you? Yeah. Few little, pro- few little oh, shit. shit. It's some little stupid. shit, though. Do you like the movies or just to stand up more? I think I would like them better if I was in them more. Like the next, like if I'm in a movie the next time and I'm doing more, then I would like them more. People be asking me why, I don't, like, you can do some movie. I'd be like, man, how the fuck? That's like telling the painter he need to build a house. But see, they don't understand it. Like, say for instance, painter, you're like, a I'm comedian, a painter, and you start, you trying to start a movie career. You have to literally start a whole career. Like, start. At ground zero, you don't just jump in and be a movie star. <laughs> you got to go in that motherfucking grind too. Comedy, you can move parallel, right? But you still be. You still got to yeah. put your work in to be a movie star. Yeah. You don't, everybody move parallel to goddamn rap, wrestlers move parallel to movie star. Right. Rappers but the move, only way to be a movie parallel. star is yeah. to be in some movies. Free. Be in some movies. You, you got to keep them motherfuckers coming. Everybody do it, man. Anybody that get any type of fame for any second become a movie star. You gotta be a movie what star. What you do, man. It ain't just comedians no That's more. That's the ultimate job, though. You can <clears> be an entertainer, but they only take star. a few from each, like you said, yeah, like each like, one. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. take a few. That's from That's the ultimate job. Wherever in the you get popular job. in, whoever, every genre, wherever you popular in, you can be a tennis player. My your ass can be the fucking, the fucking keynote speaker. They gonna throw your ass in a movie. Yeah. <clears throat> Get some attention. I'm about to become a movie star real soon. <laughs> Nigga, throw okay. anybody in there. Yeah. We got Kato Kalen in his next movie. Yeah. <laughs> what the nigga name that was staying at OJ House? They put his ass in the movie. That's, That's him. The white boy. <laughs> What's him. his name was? No, it was Kato Kalen. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm the most, that's how movies are going to be the most fame. You can be a football player. Let you run the football real good. Jim Brown. They going to. Jim, what the nigga name for Police Academy? Talk Bubba Smith. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, I'm telling you, that's the ultimate Terry job. Crew. You got to be a movie star. OJ he didn't, Simpson. He didn't, he didn't, he All played. this shit is just leading oh, up to okay. be a movie star. Bill Cosby played for the Green Bay Packers. Shut the fuck up. I know, I'm just bullshit. <laughs> they let Bill out. Why? Uh, Damn. I guess we might have to leave that alone. Yeah, we got to leave that alone. You would like to talk about controversial shit. Yeah, hey, yeah. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> lie, man. I can't even lie, I like talking about shit. <laughs> <laughs> man, we can't, I swear to God, bro, I swear to you God. You can't talk about this shit. I, I ain't, I, it's hate speech. I ain't really, I ain't gonna talk about They'll it. They'll put a disclaimer at the bottom. Hell yeah. <laughs> the truth, be the truth about right COVID. Over that shit. <laughs> the truth about COVID. How would you <laughs> like to try our <laughs> new Applebee's honey bourbon barbecue chicken? But, but, but fucking Rogan talk about any fucking thing. Nah, man. Especially as a black man, do you understand that shit gonna get flagged first? Well, I feel you. I feel you, man. You know, this ain't my genre, though, man. I try to, I'm trying to put you on. I know you game. already put me on, player. You did. You yeah. I'm picking up what you're putting down, my brother. You know what I mean? <laughs> picking up what you're putting down. You're yeah, slamming man. it down, Fuck but I'm still shit, picking man. that shit up, man. Yeah, man. One thing about it, I need to know. All yeah, we need man. to not know. Don't talk about that shit. Shit. Better know what you're fucking with before you it's, fuck with it. That's the trickery of the shit. They put that type of shit out to see who's gonna respond to it so they can be like, aha. Uh-huh. They had one of them aha moments on your ass. That should be crazy about what you can talk about and what you can't talk about. No, it's not that you can't, but it's, no, I'm saying. it's just that it ain't, it's not worth the shit that come after that. No, I got it. I'm, I'm, it's I ain't people who me. just surf the internet for controversial shit. And there's a way to talk about everything. You just got to have the right platform and... This, yeah. But it shit so get take out of context, it get take out of context, and that's how they blow the shit out of proportion. So, I'm, so I'm like a wild coyote. I gotta be trained. I gotta figure out how to no, talk about this no, shit. There ain't no training. Yeah, man. I gotta be trained how to talk about it ain't because no you know what? I guess the more money you get, the more easier you will be. That's what it seems like. The more money you get, the more easier you will be. You're a target. No, I ain't talking about for that. I'm saying, yeah, yeah you're right. You're a target, I guess, initially. Because but it's just like, the, like you said, the more famous you are, the, the easier it is to blame shit on you. Yeah, so what about, like, if I get famous tomorrow? How do you You're already famous. That's I know. The part I'm about talking about super famous where I say the shit now and it go out and it hit. How about when I keep It don't work like that. They're going to wait till something I... happen and then they're going to find the clip that you said yes. and they're going to try to pair it yeah. with what okay. happened and, and make guess it what? try to seem what like it's worse than it actually was. And it's already guess, out of know context. It. I guess what? But what if I don't give a fuck and I keep giving them shit to do and I keep kicking their motherfucking ass and their kids' ass and their mammy's ass? Like, what if I just keep kicking their ass? Like, 
would I be the first motherfucker to keep whooping their ass? Mm -mm. Like, how about it? Mm -mm. Like, how can they win against me? How can they win against me just talking my ass off? What's winning to you? I guess not really getting, not shit, not, I guess, I don't know what's winning. I don't know what to be winning for them. Like, I it feel like they win when they cancel a motherfucker. When people talking about it, it look like they winning. But so see, what about- That's just a facade. How's somebody gonna cancel you? That's what I'm saying. So it's no consequence to whatever the fuck I do, because you just said it. You just no, that's said not necessary. Anything that you say can have a consequence. It's all in about. It might, it's not immediate, though. You know what? There it is, Carlos. You said it. It just gonna hit at any time. Yeah. Yeah. They can pull them. They're not gonna wait. They're not gonna, they don't give a fuck what you say right now. It, it, Cause it's, 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 they wait until you celebrate. Until something. you hit. Until something good happened for you. Then they have to paint you as a bad person so they can feel, make it feel like you don't deserve whatever it is that. They gonna wear my ass out. Right. Because I've done a lot. You be just doing shit. But what's going to be your reason? For what? What you said. You took them pills. Yeah. <laughs> and you went on stage. And I had a little migraine. And I went backstage. I asked for some Advil, but I don't know what they gave me. I asked for some ginger ale. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck that was. I think that was some rum. And I don't drink no motherfucking rum, man. Oh, you gonna pour the classic? <laughs> I picked my cup up. I thought I, I had water in my cup. Mm -hmm. And I took a big gulp of it, and it was straight Hennessy. You gonna have to plead that, that I, I was on it defense. I, I was on one. They get you with your way, they get you in the way with you, and you know which way coming. So ain't no way to goddamn it brace for it. Mm. I've seen it a hundred times. Don't make it easy for him, though. Tell me like R. Kelly. Can't say that. Why would you even want him? I don't know. God damn. It's PG. But I'm just saying, there's PG. no social value in that. What you mean? Like, there's no, there's no reason to talk about it. There's no point in it. It is random. You don't think random things help. But it ain't. It's random. It's, that's the trick, babe. These are social distractions to try to see who gives a fuck about this shit. It's just like, Say, for instance, you doing some shit. These people who give a fuck about this shit, they not even in your your realm of possibility. But if you feed into that shit, here come these motherfuckers who are emotional and give a fuck about that shit. Once you start playing the opinion game, now you have to hear all these fucking opinions. Ain't nobody gives a fuck. Ain't that some shit? Unless you give a fuck about opinions, then. It's getting salt and salt, huh? Yeah. But these are just these are just media distractions and tricks of shit that they, they throw out shit like that that's supposed to make make it seem like people give a fuck. So we can only really just no, I got you, I got you. So we can only really we only got we only can say shit on stage when we out and about. We really can't say that's shit. That's dangerous too. That's that's the real, that's where it started at. Now they following us all around waiting on us to say anything. It used to just be you could go on stage and say whatever. You and say then, what you say. Once they started policing the stage and then social media was like, okay, all right, now these people watching your every move because they know we're comedians and you know comedians tell the truth. They're just waiting on you to tell one of your truths and that I they don't agree with. tell the truth. Huh? Then I say comedians. That's what I said. That's the perception. But they don't understand that a lot of the comedians that they like ain't telling the truth. What comedian you know lie? Shit. Most of them. That's the shit that make good jokes. Yeah, those be lies. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, don't be you lying. Could, man, don't nobody want. Bro, <laughs> if, you, if you as a comedian went on stage and everything you said was true, that shit going to be boring as a motherfucker. Oh man, you gotta make it. People live in reality. That's why they want to be entertained you by you alone. You when you said it. you called a fat bitch and she said she wanted to eat good in the neighborhood. No, that's that's the part of the joke that make it funny. Or was you lying when the fat no. bitch had the name to it and the whole mm -hmm. slogan? Nigga, I had a whole life before this shit. I knew it. Yeah. You take one for the team. Take one for the no, team. No, ain't some that. Was you fucking with fat bitches? We all love 
<laughs> nah, it wasn't. It wasn't even a fact. It was a hood chick. Yeah, it was the hood. Tell me, so yeah, I want to eat good in the neighborhood. She, Brian, fuck with the true story. She had never been out to eat before. I believe you, because I ain't never been Because she had six home. sisters and seven Until brothers. I got to and she was, I think she was like number 11 or something. <laughs> there were about 14 of them. She had never been out to eat. And you told I her the first time out, I brought her to the crib. I was getting ready. I thought she like she had called an Uber or something to my crib. She had never rode in the Uber. A, a Uber. Then when she got to the crib. A Uber? Yeah, I sent the <clears throat> Uber. This back in 05, I'm talking about. Uber in your 05. No, I'm saying, okay, check this out. So she <laughs> then came to the house. Yeah. <laughs> However the fuck she got there. Somebody dropped off. This back when I was, I was thugging then. I ain't have a whole lot. So she get over there and I had cable. So wherever we was going, she didn't want to go no more. We ended up watching the whole season of some shit. And then I fucked with her for a little bit and I was out of there. Damn. I ain't really have a whole lot to offer. So all the pussy I was getting up, up until this point in my life, I know it was just because they really liked me, because I ain't really have shit. You ain't lying, man. I gave you some pussy. Yeah, I done, Boy, man, I done had plenty of chicks get dropped off and would just be there. You can't be off the street. I don't know how she got there. What's up, that shit? I just done got used to Uber. I forgot how we used to get down before all this shit came. Yeah, man. She probably had another nigga or somebody, homegirl, drop off. All I, I know is she got man. over there. And this was is she was going to get her hair done. That was a good day, younger days, when the chick ain't. Now you gotta goddamn take a bitch out to eat or something. You ain't used to have to take back in the day. Like not back in the day when you was about 20 years old. Man, think all the pussy you got when you know you was broke. Yeah, I got some broke pussy. Nigga, you win this, and it was better than the pussy I'm paying for now, shit. But it wasn't that you was broke, or was that just pussy in your price range? It was broke. No, it was price right. Okay, pussy. so if you broke, are you getting broke? But pussy? you can fuck them. You can fuck some top tier pussy and be broke. But if she fucking with you, is it top tier pussy? Because you know you broke. Looking back, you, uh, everybody's scared to judge. Looking back, looking back. What's I always question? say that. I always look at my baby mama and say, you know what? I got all y'all when I wasn't shit. So that's who y'all were fucking with. I ain't nigga that really wasn't shit. So I see why y'all hate me now because I didn't got better. And y'all still the person y'all was when I met y'all last. <laughs> so, you know, that was back in fucking the day. You, you know, know what that's called? What? Accountability. No, when I met them in 02 and 03 and shit, man, it was that level I was on. I was dreadlocked, gold teeth, talking shit, swallowing spit. If you could stand and fuck me after the bullshit I had just talked that day, you really wouldn't hit no shit. Because I was talking some shit. Mm. And if you stood there and listened, you was just as crazy as I was. So that's who all my baby mamas is. Somebody that sat there and let me talk. That Ain't that shit. crazy? Because they probably seen the potential. They ain't seen But they don't that never that. see they the potential. They ain't see no potential. Like, if they see the potential. If they saw the potential, they'll still be around. That's what I'm saying. If they saw the potential. They ain't seen no more. Why they didn't see the part potential. where ain't you wasn't even fucking no with them once you. <laughs> you ain't see that part? What? They can see all the potential in the world, but it's like, if I can reach all this potential, do you think I'm gonna fuck with you? That, that's what I'm basically saying. Where I'm at now, I wouldn't fuck with them. At this point, you think, well, that's you think I would, would, I fuck with, would they fuck with me? I don't know. I, I don't mean, they already didn't fuck with you on the, on the come up. <laughs> <laughs> but well, they had to see you. They had to see you, because you, you started being already in videos, like, yeah, they like O two. Yeah, they seen. I mean, yeah, definitely. I bet mama definitely seen me. That's what I'm saying. So you went from a nigga talking shit to now whatever the. When I say talking shit, I'm talking about ridiculous shit about like how you. I would beat the shit out of a motherfucker, or some shit, or some shit, some shit, some shit. I would slap your fucking mama, shit. Like so, they just know me from a weird time. Okay. Talking all kind of shit. I just had to give you one out of fifty. Oh. Just talking shit, verbally abusive talking shit, you know what I mean? Uh, so they know me from another what time. The, what's wrong with Chad? What's wrong with you, bro? You do <laughs> I don't know. The hood chicks be doing that in their sleep. They Man, wake up and nigga, yeah. be cleaning their ear out and shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Most of the hood bitches. And they made that noise. I can talk shit. I guess I can talk shit about my baby mama. Them kids grown now, man. Them kids grown? 
I don't know. All of them, three of them, yeah. Three of your kids grown? My well, son, mama, she, I fuck with her, she cool. Oh, okay. I fuck with my son, man. <laughs> she cool. Gotta have one cool baby mama. That's a blessing. She cool, yeah, man, she cool. I can leave you like. Yup. <laughs> Some of it be like that, man. If you don't help me out, then I don't fuck with you. Man, don't you? Yeah, pick me up or something, man, from the airport or something. Make some time, man. I get Tell all the niggas out there who got a cool baby mama and you still fucking up. We, I, I can't stand you, nigga. You, you niggas I out. ain't still fucking mine. And that's on lot. That's on Good. It just, it's just still cool. I know I get Good. around from the airport. That's, they ain't, you, it ain't gonna never get cool until you stop fucking. I ain't shit. I knew You gotta it. stop fucking. If y'all not together, don't be fucking on that one. Hell no. Mm -mm. I ain't even sitting up here capping, but no. Don't put her I life mean, on my decision. She Let her live she, her life. She, Mama got to have a life too, fellas. It wasn't my decision. She quit fucking me, but hey, man. it's like that, though. She made, a, she made a decision that was best for her. Right. <laughs> yeah, man. I was young, I couldn't see it. I was mad at first. That's how it be, man. <laughs> you, you grow up and you look oh, back. Yeah, you That's what I'm You got to look back at yourself and be like, yeah, I wouldn't shit a little bit. She can have that one. Oh, man. Plus, I mean, it is what it is, man. And you not that person? <clears throat> huh? And you not that person? No, not that person. Goddamn 07. 08, 09, 11, 12. But see, 13. that's part of your growth, too. <laughs> <laughs> that type of shit got to happen, you gotta so you can grow up. Yeah. Was this nigga <laughs> two yeah, years man. ago? <laughs> no, hell no. I the bullshit period. It's been at least six years for the <laughs> November two thousand, and that's the last bullshit. Yeah, the bullshit. You, you all, all the bullshit. Like a painter, six years nigga. straight. That's bullshit what it takes, man. You gotta reach the point in your life. The bullshit. You I just over the bullshit. Shit, I ain't had no choice. That shit quit me. There you go. That shit quit me, nigga. That's what happened. If you fuck around too long, it, it'll eventually quit you. It'll quit your ass, nigga. Should have got out while you had a chance. Should have got out smooth, strong, than a motherfucker. Now you get out and it quit you, and you know the reason why you're out. Because it quit your motherfucker, man. You ain't quit it. See? That's the point of a nigga's life that's <laughs> called a realization. Got to realize that that shit will happen. The longer you fuck around, it's baby. The better you like, the more your chances increase of the, mm. of the opposite happening. How you feel about the West Coast, man? The what? I'm talking about Clayton, that West Coast. West Coast, what you mean? Like Cali? Just yeah. Los Angeles? How you, you fuck with the West Coast? Yeah. I'm talking as far as like living out there. I ain't never really lived out there. I mean, I stayed out there a couple months, but I ain't lived out there like that. I'm just a, a south ass nigga. That's what I'll, that's what that's that's me too, man. I'm just I, I a mean, south all that shit great to visit. I can stay out there as long as I need to. As long as I know I'm coming back home to the south at some point, whether it be a month, two months, three months, I'm straight. Los Angeles straight. Uh, I not got, for comedy. Like for stand up, it's not enough stages. Like Atlanta got way more stages to get on. But as far as like working, yeah. It was all type of opportunities I wouldn't have gotten nowhere else. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit that I was able to do that I didn't even, you know, I'm tagging titles on shit, you know? Like, niggas producing, niggas no, writing. That's all right. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool down south, man. Different shit. But I also want to learn how to do all that shit. So it's actually, I'm getting paid to learn how to do the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, now I know how you set up a show. Now I know what a showrunner does. I know what a successful showrunner does. Three, four seasons in, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. that shit is just different. Like it's a whole different side of stuff you can learn. But as far as stand-up, like my stand-up suffered the whole time I was out there. Like, not my stand-up, but being able to get on stage. Like whenever I went anywhere else, if I was on the road, shit was great. But out there, it's like, damn, like weekend, you might not have no spot. You might do a spot, oh, we can only have you back this often. Like, it's hard. They like, want you to go through the whole process of goofy shit. And New York, a different story. New York, way better. But yeah, LA, depends on what you're trying to do. <clears throat> it's a lot of shit that could be cool. The people ain't the best, but that nature and shit, that's about it, man. You go see anything, like, probably within like four hours. What you mean? Mountains, snow. Motherfucker go to the beach within an hour, wherever the fuck you at. You wanna go on a hike, you wanna go in the mountain, you wanna go in the canyon, 
You want to see some goddamn seals? You want to see some dolphins jump off some shit? Like, <laughs> yeah, Dolphins bro. just be jumping off shit? <laughs> Come on, bro. Bro, you just go, man. It's so many motherfuckers. Like, if you do that, it's different. Yeah, you smoking and you out there. That's the that's the one thing because it's not finna fucking rain, bro. If it rain, it's gonna be unusual. It rained when I first moved there for two weeks straight, and that shit was unusual. These motherfuckers was running around scared. Everybody <laughs> looked terrible, wet. Hmm. They don't look good wet. Niggas in LA do not bitches. Nobody dogs. Nobody. <laughs> Nothing looks good in LA wet. The donut shop nasty because it's wet, bro. It's wet Everything look nasty in LA wet. It's a little nastier than you would think. Mm. I'm, I'm, you asked. I'm just okay. giving it's a little bit nastier. It's, oh, the weed is great. The weed is great. You go to a place that don't have taxes, though. That's what you want. Sensational. Right, right. No taxes. You want to go in there. They might be running off a generator. You don't know what's going on in that bitch. They still ask you for your ID, get your stamp card, go in that bitch, get your little weed, move on about your goddamn day. Bro, they used to love to go to that one by your old crib. Oh, man, that shit stayed day, over like, the like front looked like three a, in the morning. It was like an empty furniture what? store or some shit. Oh, man, fat nigga with a gun. That's the security. Oh, it's always the, the bigger the store, the, water, the fatter the nigga. Oh, shit. Right, yeah. I ain't about to set this whole shit off. Man, you got a Capri Sun in there. You man. want one? Yeah, yeah, let me get a Capri Sun. Oh, man, shit. Who's making shit? You want one? No, I don't need one. Shit, I'll have man. one with you, bro. Nastier than you would think. We straight up out Grown people shitting on the ground. Homeless people building two story structures. These motherfuckers piling so many cushions together. I said, this nigga is building a skyscraper. I seen a homeless nigga with a balcony. Nigga had a balcony, was smoking a cigarette. I'm on my way to work at the Universal shit. Bruh. Homeless people everywhere, people shitting on the street, pissy highway. You heard of a pissy hallway? Pissy highway. The whole interstate pissy going under certain bridges. I'm, I'm, I'm making shit up? All right. Now, and people drive and don't look like it ain't there, bro. Them people, yeah. Damn. Skid Row 60 blocks or something like that. 60 blocks. Mm -hmm. 60 blocks. Skid Row is 60 blocks. 60 blocks. Of um, just homeless. Camp, drug, dope. Whatever the motherfuckers want to do. Damn. Tents. Damn, man. I be watching that shit on YouTube. This shit look nice, quick on camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, it look, when, you know when they shoot a movie? You like, oh, LA look nice. Yeah, it look good when the camera moving, but if you sit there, bitch, still, you gonna be like, this nigga is shitting while playing the trumpet, <laughs> looking me dead in the eye, nigga. And this is off the exit, nigga. Shit. This nigga got over a bucket, nigga, but the bucket upside down. He ain't even shitting in the open part. He shitting on the flat bottom part. <laughs> <laughs> so he's splatting back on his calf muscle. This nigga nasty. <laughs> This oh homeless fuck that man, man. Right, yeah <laughs> but it's cool though it's cool it's the people that's actually from LA great people I fuck with them all the way yeah it's cool people in Atlanta but I wasn't shit, out man and all that shit the people in Atlanta and shit the homeless people oh yeah they closed down that one little shit that was downtown which one remember that yeah one? right there on Pine man they shut that down I used to live right over that way at that waterfall building they. That shit, damn, for real. That shit used to be stinky as fuck through there, too. Whole area was stinky. <laughs> man, I hey, thought man. about it. <laughs> I just didn't thought about it. And that's why the COVID crisis was going up. Over there because of the homes? Well, just people shitting on the street. Oh. That shit ain't supposed <laughs> to be on the street. <laughs> cool. You're not supposed to shit on the street, now. <laughs> we we, we, we no, can get away with the pee. The, the pee. the pee might be all right, but I know you ain't supposed to be shitting on the street, now. <laughs> you can't. You can't, now. They get in the air. You right. Particles. You right. Yeah. You make a good point. How we, what we gonna do about that? We gotta clean up the whole world. If we, I ain't gonna do shit. That's the sad it. thing about it. You watch YouTube, you realize what's going on in the world. You used to think the only thing that was going on in the world is what they put on the news. Boy, it's so much 
so much shit. We got to clean up the know old. half of the shit. I know, just for looking at a YouTube. Who's you watching on the? Man, I would have to look at my phone, man. I'm going to tell you what I be watching. I can tell you right now. I'm sure it's some controversial shit. It, 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 it's a, a Ray Mercer and Tommy, a lot of Joe, Joe Rogan, uh, DJ Joe Rogan. Yellow, DJ uh, Pablo Escobar, John Gotti. Oh, okay. Mike I just be kind of looking at Stargates and shit. Who? What is there? Stargates. Stargate. El Chapo, oh. Hitler. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. Oh, they got that shit on Netflix Baldwin. about being a tyrant. You seen it? Ben no, Hull. I was going to watch the tyrant. idiot I mean. Yeah, he on the talking big shit. A butcher, huh? Yeah. I like to watch all that type of shit. Idiot I mean. Goddamn. Yeah, he fucked the whole country up. Killed too many people. Man. Too, oh. too much violence. Idiot, yeah, I mean, what country was he in? Uganda. 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 Ellen was in Rwanda. Kabuka was in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know all these motherfuckers. Be on it. You know all that shit. You know all the history. Shit me, I ain't. I don't know enough, man. You don't know enough. You gotta know a goddamn. You gotta know a whole lot to say a little bit. Can't okay. know a little bit to say and be sitting there talking. There you go. So shit, I'm trying to get a whole lot. Yeah. Store that little brain of mine so I can stand up there and know some shit. You know, the best thing in the world to do is, is the best thing in the world is to know. If you can know, man, you just be good knowing. Knowing is half the battle. What the That's hell? what G.I. Joe said. He <laughs> <laughs> <It> did. <laughs> they ain't never know shit on Now you know. Though. And knowing is half the battle. <laughs> Go, Joe. I did not like that cartoon. G.I. Joe? Fuck no. You thought it wants you to join the army? I didn't like G.I. Joe. I liked uh, He-Man. I liked uh, He Thundercat. I liked, he Man. Uh, Thundercats was right. I, I fuck with yeah, Thundercats. I like, yeah, I even like She-Ra. The guy. Panther was black, wasn't he? They he felt Panther? black. I, I don't know. I know. Pantera. The gray nigga. Pantera. The big nigga, he was great, he was bald. Yeah, I know Chitara will find his hell. That's why I like that. That's you talking about Thundercat. That's Thundercat. Yeah. Mm, God, do what I like. Nigga watch Silverhawks. <laughs> I don't know. G.I. Joe I ain't I ain't really fuck with it. Damn, K Dub. I didn't really fuck with it, man. Alright, man. He man. That's it. Scooby Doo. Oh, mysterious, <laughs> mystery solving ass nigga. Man, I had to watch it, man. I had to watch it, man. I had to know. <laughs> you had to know what? I just had to know who the fuck did it, man. It was always some motherfucker did all, some shit. It's the same script. It was not time. Red Harry. It was Red Harry sometime. It was him sometime. It was, uh, yeah. It would be the nigga Scooby trying to get Doo insurance money. Message. It was always a regular person. It was an underlying first. message to the whole Scooby Doo shit. What's the message? I had most bullshit. So you knew who everybody so was going to be every time? <laughs> you said what? Behind most bullshit that is going on. It's an old white man. <laughs> every episode, the, the ghost was some white man trying to steal some land or some property from somebody. Damn. He, he made the, the hotel seem haunted so he could get the insurance money all to himself. Right. So you honestly and I would have got away with it if it was but you never <laughs> been kid. Cause it was never <laughs> it was never a moment. Yeah, yeah. Make the damn show plead his case at the end He would have got away with it if it wasn't. He, he, had, he created the underwater scuba monster so the property of the land would go down so we could sell it at a low price and keep the money. <laughs> and I would have got away with it had it been for you meddles some kids. <laughs> Goddamn. Scooby Doo them went everywhere. Haunted swamps, the carnival. Somebody but there was never no real monster. Never. So, where the episode where the real monster choked the shit out of one of them? And I want to see that Scooby Doo. This how I know Scooby Doo and them wasn't in no real danger. There was bro. never no real monster. He took his baby nephew to work with him. You think you're going to bring your Doo. baby nephew around some ghosts? Scrappy Doo was grown. He, he was, was a puppy, he though. Was, he was. Because he had puppy power. I he think he wasn't grown. He was just a mean, 
He was a mean Small little dog. toddler, I guess. A mean talking dog, short dog. He wasn't no grown. <laughs> Scrappy Doo wasn't grown. Okay. All right, I get y'all that. All right, now that we grown, okay. I can, I can, and we I can, know that they just been that's keeping the one Scooby I get Doo legend y'all. alive right what? now. What Scooby Doo do you think they own right now? Like if you had to pick a number. Cause you know the original Scooby Doo, he didn't he didn't live. Oh, uh, he didn't live this long into our life. Like if you Scooby, know they've been keep re- they kept replacing Scooby Doo. So what the name that was saying the voice? Scooby Doo forty six B. Damn. You talking about what you mean? Like how many different Scooby Doo's they done had over the whole time. Damn. Cause Scooby Doo never not been on TV really. Right. It's always been Scooby Doo. And so you think because they chain them up a little bit? Yeah, they oh. keep changing them. Just yeah. to be the animation or to be Scooby Doo ain't solving mysteries no more. He rides skateboards. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? They just throw some, you know what I'm saying? Different, different. This some high ass conversation. Yeah. Damn, so it's 46B, you say. Damn. <laughs> I never looked at it that way. So what about Homer Simpson? I know he changed a couple times. Yeah, they probably on like 30. No, like 20 something. Have you been seeing the the newer episodes of The Simpsons? They're trying to be more edgy. What they doing? Just trying to be like, you know, it's a lot more quick humor and shit like that. They're trying to set the jokes up faster. Because people I went there seen it. posting, I mean, people I posting and knowing for it. Yeah. they trying to put a little Instagram. they yeah. just playing for that. Oh, I can see that. Well, I mean, just the times done changed. Like, the shit that used to be controversial on The Simpsons ain't even... Hell, no. Nah. You had to They had tried to ban The Simpsons and all this shit when it first came out. Yeah. It's too you vulgar. get in trouble for wearing a Bart shirt. Right. I tried to get around it with the black Bart shirt. Yeah, eat my and shorts. still got in trouble. <laughs> you got in trouble for wearing it? Can't black tell teacher, shirt. eat my shorts. Yeah. You, got, you couldn't wear a Bart Simpson shirt? Yeah, I no. tried at one of the schools I went to in Pensacola. Wow. Yeah. Pensacola, Florida. You can wear a Bar Simpson shirt because mm-hmm. he was saying, eat my shorts. Eat my and shorts. And he was jumping out of windows and all that. Wow. Send me home. That is hilarious. I ain't know that. I went to old people's schools and give a shit about that. Yeah, you were into the real violent shit. They wasn't violent. They just didn't give a shit about a Bar Simpson. I guess that wasn't violent enough. Man. Your school gave a shit about Bart Hell Simpson? yeah. Damn. My school oh. was very wholesome. I didn't give a <laughs> shit. My school was very wholesome Damn. and they represented Damn. the Oxford community. Nigga, that school ain't give a All fuck. All type of goofy shit, especially. Here at the Oxford City Schools, we're just trying to create a safe learning environment for all our students. Really? I, 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 I didn't even leave school if I felt like it any time. Nothing kept me in a school. Like, I, would, I graduated high school, but any time from <laughs> second grade to twelfth grade, I would just get up, I would change classes and grab my boo bag and go the fuck home and come back the next day. Like, like nothing happened? Like nothing happened. I've done it all my life. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've done Look it all you. my life. Yeah. yeah. Humble flex. No, it ain't no homo flex, it's just, it was just that simple. Cause, fucking, man, it just, I remember second grade leaving school. You left school in second grade. Second grade leaving Your school. Your teacher was awful. Not really, How because you get I wasn't in the class. Just, I just left. Oh, like walking left when y'all, school. when y'all was in the hallway. Yeah. Tr- Truancy didn't hit for real till 1994 around Mississippi. Okay. <laughs> and Mississippi truants are hit by 94. That's when they were keeping real records, I guess. Because I was in Milwaukee at first, and it was no, it was just no, it was, and when, I, when I got to Mississippi, it was no, it, it wasn't really, that shit was not like, it was not like, not at uh, fucking the school I went to, Naylor. It was just not, Recorded. I only it, the records probably still ain't even existing. Right. They probably couldn't even pull them records up, nigga. Oh. That's on everything. They wanted to go check back. They should probably start at about seventh grade with me, like a slave record. No, uh, you alright? You alright? Am I like what? You alright? Tell me about the record. Yeah. 
Shit, really, for real. I'm telling you, I, 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 I can guarantee that. Why you saying that that you? Hell yeah, I'm good. I don't give a fuck about no second grade school record. Man, I'm going to tell you that shit, God. Ah, this nigga yeah. had, bro. You had to. That's why I, I know I am, because I'm listening to you tell this goddamn Man, story. Man, you just told a story, too, but I ain't accused you of being What I told the story about, nigga? I'm, I kind of. Exactly. I'm going to tell you what it was. You don't even know. I'm going to tell you. Go ahead. You said everybody in the world, all the niggas was everywhere. That was high. First of all, it was black people everywhere. First. No, you said niggas though, and that's why I said. Well, like, dark skinned people have been on every part of this planet first. Yeah, yeah. They didn't have to go nowhere. They've been native to every you land know. on the world, on the continent, just like everybody else was. There has always been variations of people native to every land, is what I'm saying. But what I'm saying though is. Black people was there on the whole planet first. I think the, uh, so, well, I will. I, and they I, weren't just all in one place. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't even want to go back over that again. Yeah. But that's what I think. Yeah, but just I, native to every every land. That's what I think. That's how Even I how, down, even though the motherfuckers in Peru the people in Peru, they mo even though some dog went down now, just yeah. like it's some albinos up here. Right. But even about them, 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 them Spanish-looking people too. But I'm saying, let's say for instance, you All, go to Peru. Let me say this. They got some Peruvians, right? I know they but got they some. But they gonna dog. have some black ones there too. I know that, just like they got some albinians here and some retarded people. But Why do you well, have to say that. You can't say that either. No. God damn. Man, I'm really staying away from every topic that I no, can't. No, but why you have to bring up? Say, I don't even, man, God. You I, can't even say that word no more. Oh, man, I don't. What do you say? I didn't even. You, you can't. Don't you, you don't. Hey, man, you, you know what? You have to be specific. But guess what? Guess and they really don't want you to mention them at all. Mm. Ain't that some shit? They if gonna you're work not it? kissing they ass, you can't so say So you can work at Walmart, but we can't mention you. Right. That's crazy. That's like, that's crazy. But anyway, I didn't even forget what I was saying, man. See? Because I can't. This can't. is a crash course on all the shit not to say no more. <laughs> you just won't smoke, I guess. Mm -mm. <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with it. I say this shit in jail, man. I know, but it's just, just a lot of trigger words. The internet is a very strange place. No, I got you. I got you. I understand. <laughs> I understand thoroughly. It's just so much shit like Michael Jackson, man. I got so many songs inside of me. I just want to get them out. So much shit to say. So much bullshit attached. Hey, man. Even if some of them shits came out right now, they might be too controversial. Just because of the social climate. Anyway, what we were saying was all the Peruvian people, right? right. They all their whole country look alike. The whole country. Niggas ain't from down there, man. Unless them folks did the same thing the, the white folks did. And, 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 so it's just one type of motherfuckers just right there from there. Yeah, man, because I get praised to black people too. But y'all motherfuckers went in no Chile or nothing, man. Like, they was in Africa, but not. You don't think they was in Chile? Some over there. That's what I'm saying, some <laughs> everywhere. Ecuador, man, Guatemala. Guatemala. It's some dog Guatemalans, but for the most part, like every Af all the Africans, you know, you got the Moroccans that's like, but you know, slash some whatever. I, I mean, I don't know. He said he was black. He was a manager at the IHOP. He said he Moroccan, he black. Yeah, but that's I don't quite know, possible. But I don't know, because he was light skinned. And not saying that's I don't North think. North Africa, right? I know it. But I'm saying I don't know in the sense of. Was I he bet if you go back and talk to him, he said, "Man, my dad's probably darker than you." But the Moroccan light, ain't it? So you think all of them are? I guess eighty, at least seventy, eighty percent, right? All right, what the other twenty look like? I'm guessing it's more than that. I just don't want to say 95, but I'm guessing it's probably like that too, like in Africa. In, 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 in Africa, 
Oh. Even except for Ethiopia and a few more of them other countries. You been there? Mm-mm. See? But That's I know what just a, an assumption. But I know what a motherfucker told me. Don't believe that to you. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps I ain't never seen no light-skinned Nigerians like that, even though I know that there are some. There's but plenty of them. I know, but we ain't seen them, which means the same way I ain't seeing that many do you understand it's like 200 chains. million people in Nigeria? I know that, but I'm <laughs> but, but why is it that all I'm seeing is the black ass niggas? Cause man, it's like be honest with you. In America, there are light skin, brown skin. You, this right here is what, what America is, but this is not what Nigeria is. But that's what black people are. That's that's how black people are. It ain't not really. It don't matter what color yeah, they people. are. They still are. Of a, they still it's black. All it's all them colors. All them hues. So it don't matter what kind Exist of black people you continent. get. You ain't never gonna yeah, get on no that red, continent. yellow. On that continent, you saying the continent is fast talk. I'm talking about, but not on that west coast coming down like that. But maybe in that back east corner, it's some lighters. But ain't no lighters outside of Morocco and Cape Verde and that mm -hmm. east corner. What, yeah. a, what, what other state? What other it's country? It's some yellow tribes. No, I'm saying, give it's me some that. Tribes. What I'm saying, it's it's yellow. Because you don't have to have some, some tribe that look down there. Two dark skinned people some can have a light red, skin. Like the damn I know, I, that's what I said earlier about yeah. the albino. So that's what I'm saying. It don't matter. Wherever some black people at, it's going to be multiple colors of black. Not really, because I ain't, you're right, I ain't been there, but I ain't really seen that in the picture. That a, that a random motherfucker took. Man. When I seen a random picture of some niggas in South Sudan, all them niggas was at black, ashy niggas, man. It wasn't no hue of colors like you talking about. Every time I see a picture of a group of Nigerian that's niggas, it don't picture, be a hue. But you gotta, that's I'm one just picture, saying man. random, boy. Well, you know what? I tell you what, Carlos, you right. But when you put a picture of some, def some different hues of n niggas born in Africa outside of Ethiopia and them Somalia, Cause that's where they at in Morocco. I, not, I only think Morocco, but outside of Ethiopia and Somalia, I don't think there's no hues. All right. Where about? I will Google it. Let's know. Go there. I will Google it first, then go there. Not saying You're ain't no hues. Ain't Google it. I'm not saying ain't no hues in Nigeria, yeah, like ain't no white you people. You saying Nigeria. But dog, you talking about the biggest continent in the world. I hear it. It's all kind of motherfuckers. I know it's people the... over, you talking about something as simple as some light skin. There's some shit over there that you ain't never even thought of. I believe you. I was just saying where, in a sense, and that I ain't never seen. I believe oh, there's more to this. it. Trust I'm never me. saying it wasn't. I just believe there's more to it, but I ain't seen it. Therefore, I gotta retract me saying I believe it. I don't know if it's more to it. I will have to see Sorry, it. Going, yeah, man, it's so much shit in this world we don't, we don't know nothing about. That's the crazy part. Oh yeah, man. That's why I said I watch YouTube and find out shit. <laughs> you gotta watch <laughs> Which one man. you been watching? <laughs> I watched the little pygmy trial where them niggas was like, <laughs> all them niggas was, man, I don't know if can you even say this shit, mm -hmm. man. I ain't even gonna say it, man. What the That's fuck? who they are, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, you, that's their name, right? That's not their name? <laughs> yeah, I don't know you asked Carlos if that's the right way to call them. I they, said pygmy. If they're pygmy, well, you said it's little okay. pygmy. That's pretty much <laughs> like a double negative. Because you know? Pygmy already means small. <laughs> that's just like calling the little littles. <laughs> What you had called me to ask me to be on the show, and I agreed. <laughs> <laughs> so you just up here showing love to Jay, basically. I'm just up here showing love to Jay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was bad. like, yo, it's my girl's birthday. I need you to come, man. I need He's you to come. Like, yeah. Some shit like that. I don't yeah, know. What did you say? <laughs> what exactly did you say to get me on the show? I don't know no, what it was. We fuck with you. I already that know it. don't happen if I kept fucking with you. That bitch, that bitch hit my foot, man. That bitch heavy, bro. You got that goddamn old school. Goddamn yeah, man, man, man. Man. 80s rapper type, right? You bet on. State champion. Yeah, I ain't get mine, so fuck it. I bought my own. Yeah, man. You said what I? Bought my own. I should have been giving me a state championship ring made. Man, for real. Too old man. We still yeah, wear it? Y'all won a state champion? Why do you no. They won after you left, didn't they? But you, you know. won one. No, I'm just saying. It's gonna be like when them class rings. That ring ain't gonna be shit. I can just fuck it. I can just cause it's I can't. for it. State champion. State champion bigger than all that shit. State champion bigger than pros in the college. Yeah. Big. State, State champion. champion. Fucking right. Cause everybody really love each other, know each other on that team. When you get to college, them niggas just met in a year two or three.
You talking about the ring or you talking about the Just the whole the fucking win. You was a state champion? No, I ain't never been there, man. I ain't never won shit. You ain't never won shit? I ain't never won shit. I ain't never scored a point. Damn. I ain't <laughs> never got a rebound, scored a point, uh -huh. goalie, nothing. I ain't never played no sport. I ran track. <laughs> He's coming like fifth and sixth place and shit. Oh, he was terrible. Yeah, I wasn't no athlete like that. I could turn some <laughs> flips or something, but I couldn't run. <laughs> couldn't hop, couldn't shoot. Oh. Fifth and sixth place. Yeah, I ran track. I was in like third the whole race. What you, what, what, what did you run? I ran a mile, then I ran 800. Oh, mile, I ran, nigga. No. I ran 800 one time. That shit was oh, too hard. No, you had no speed, man. The 800 was man. Let's the see if you can run. 800 hurt, boy. The 800 the hardest shit to run. 800 is the shit. The mile is the. No, you can't the run mile, fast, no, but you just keep mile. running. No, the mile cool. Let's the mile because all you gotta do is just keep running. But that 800, shit. you gotta. I'm telling you, that I ran two it. That two mile, that motherfucker. That two laps. mile, all you gotta do is keep running. That's. <laughs> That's it, just keep running, just finish. But that what? 800, bro, you got to have some speed and some get up. You got to sprint that bitch down there. Anybody that know, know. You ran the track? Yeah. So what did you run? I ran the 800 in the mile. Nigga, you ran the dangerous shit, that exactly. 800. You did the 800 too? The 800 dangerous, bro. You was a long running nigga too? That ain't no uh, really no long run. The 800 is something yeah, else. Yeah, that ain't the quick burst. Yes, it really is. It ain't the crisp. Fuck you the burst. Yeah, the burst is something else. Yeah. You just went full out. Two laps. The That's the gangster. That's the gangster. No pace lap. It's just all out. I mean, you have to it's, it's that. That's what I'm saying. Or you're going to die. You're going to die on that bit, that 800, the hard. That's the, that's the dog. So, okay, so you hold it down the first lap. No, you got to hold it down You ain't even lap. good at that shit until you can do it in, like, sub two minutes. Until you can do it in nine Yeah, tired. like, I be sending them two away, two The whole point is shit. to run that shit like you want to run about 50-something. Like, I, I done seen motherfuckers run a 49 and a 51. You that's get what I'm saying? Crazy. crazy. Just going. Do you know who be the best? That's crazy. You ever That's have to run crazy. that shit again? I did. How do I I ran track. I, wasn't finna, I knew I wasn't finna run that long. They and looked I, at me and said, you want, hey, put that bar up there. I knew, um, I knew a place I was gonna get by what bus pulled up. Shit, I used to win that shit. what school it was? Yeah, I, was like, I ain't gonna beat them niggas, man. Not them shit. Niggas. I used like to them. look at them motherfuckers like, I'm couldn't. beating all them niggas. I couldn't beat them. I could talk about your ass, but First I damn all, sure couldn't. So you was winning? Yeah. First of all, don't get it behind me. If the nigga say winning, winning, you see what I'm saying? I was losing. The nigga was really winning if they say they were winning. When, when you run the 800, bro, don't get behind nobody. You want to be in the front, because you can, you can pace their ass. You can make them motherfuckers run mm -hmm. to you. So you want them to try to run and catch up to you. So you want to start off and set the pace, go hard as fuck. But then you can't burn out in the second lap. Because then the motherfucker. Because the whole trick to the shit is like, you got to flat out run that shit. But it's like, you, it's like, you spread the straights. And you have to goddamn get your shit together in the curve, nigga. <laughs> curve is what make the race. Coming out that last curve, because then them shit, your muscles and shit get to locking up. But trying so, to get to that last 100, because that's, so that's when all the motherfuckers who you thought was dead start running like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah they pick so up. It's, it's full fucking sprint race. Yeah, they been real. pacing this the whole time. Yeah, boy. They give so it. So that's four sprints. The motherfucker you got to watch is the white Pretty boy much? who in the middle no, of the pack. When he do this in. on that second lap, let me fucking look at that watch. It's just really an all sprint. You giving, you giving <laughs> some oomph the whole run. Yeah, because you got to give it at the beginning. In right, a mile, right. you ain't giving much as you start out. When you pop that gun on that mile, you ain't giving much. And I done ran Amen. a mile in 5, 0, 2, 5, 12. I'm telling you, when that when white dude first look at that, that watch, he finna tell somebody when you up. When you pop that Especially gun. Especially if he got them little shades on. You comfortable in that first two blocks on that mile. You comfortable. First two laps, ain't nobody even a fucking competition. You comfortable. You comfortable. But on that lap, ain't nobody doing shit. As soon as they pop that gun and you hear, as soon as you go to hear footsteps, you already uncomfortable. Oh, As soon as you hear that, you uncomfortable because the 800 the beast because you already losing. You really already losing, man. You, you got to sprint one lap and then be tired and do that shit again, basically at the same pace. And then try to pick up, too. But at the end, you got to go crazy. Was that the one I saw with the with the ladies? It was the Olympics, and it was like the lady 
came up and got her ass at the end. So she bro. failed or some shit? Nah, she was running. Oh, I seen that. that. I seen what you talking about. She got hawked in. She, she got the old girl at the end. Ethiopia or something. I'm not sure. It was no, like I thought it was a college. Something green. No, this was the Olympics. I just seen this. Oh, I ain't see that one. You know, it's a lot of little hawk down video. They hawk me down a little. You got hawk down on video? <laughs> No, I ain't got it on. He probably got it. His no. family probably got it in the little drawer. He was that fast? He nah, broke he a record. He wasn't fast. No, nah, ain't nobody breaking a record on me. I really wouldn't, I really wouldn't hit no shit on the track field. So whoever beat me don't get no credit. But uh, <laughs> whoever beat me don't get shit worth of credit. I don't give a fuck who you was. You ain't go pro. You ain't do shit beating yeah, me. Good. If you was even on the thing with me, you wasn't good. They supposed to already had your ass off. I wasn't good at none of that shit. But his family probably, somebody probably was recording and got me out there running looking stupid. Fuck that. Somebody. Because I see video from high schools and shit all the time. I went to three different high schools. I see video from three different high schools. Ran track at each. Fuck no, I ran that shit for like Three or four track meets, man. Man, I was on the track team since the seventh grade. Hell no, I ain't one like that. That one. Hey, you was doing the same event. Pretty much. You was one. Okay, I ain't know that. Y'all some distance runners, nigga. Yeah. I, I just told you, really. I ran. I was on the track team. At some point, I ran all the shit. Cross country. Yeah. Yeah, see, he's probably really on the track team. I wouldn't. I was on the track team enough to say I was on there, but I wasn't no nigga. They ran everything. Cross country. I was on that mile. They tried to put me on the two mile. I'm like, hell no. Yeah. One time I'm, I was running in a cross country meet. Dude who was in front of me, he was too tired. I was in about fourth place. Dude was too tired, man. He was running, so I'm just letting him, like, I could see the finish line, but like cross country, they like, set this course up where it's like you're not just, you're just running all over this fucking place. You have to follow the course. So I was just, I could see the finish line, but it was kind of like far from where I was, maybe like five, six, some hundred yards or some shit. That shit was kind of like way the fuck down there. So the dude, it was two dudes, two white dudes in front of me. Me and my homeboy, we running, we running. So we get to the puddle where you have to jump over the shit. Bro, them motherfuckers jump right in the puddle and just fell. Jump right over their ass and won. <laughs> you won? Hell, no. Hell yeah. Tired of shit. Man, that was that shit used to fuck with your fuck with my mind. I hated that shit. You just be running. It seemed like for days, man. I ain't know. I ain't know. Why you like doing it? Why I don't know. Keep it's just it? the adrenaline rush, man. He's through. And I'm then it's just like, then when you, you get to you back, you get back from this long I ass jump. course, you done been I all jump. in the woods, jumping over puddles and climbing over shit. Jump. Then you find back. Like then you running so hard, you get back to where the people at and you see them. It's like being in the movie. You running and you see all the people on the sideline. They be like, you can't even hit it. Who out there? The other team? Like, like all the teams out there. Y'all got audience. Yeah, because it's like, these people are weird and they just love the sport of running. It's a white people's sport, so they just cheer on everybody who come through there. Who that? Like at cross country meets. So oh. it'll be like. So you was a star. So when you, I'm saying, you run all through the woods you and all through the trees, and, 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 the and then when you get back to where the people are, it's like all the, like all the girls, and all the coaches and shit, because they run first, and then you, or like JV. So it's like. Six, 600 people or some shit, and they all like, come on, guys, you're the best. Come on, push it, push it. Then it's just, then people be winning. Like, they get, this motherfucker come in like 30 second place, and they be like, most improved runner, heart of a lion. <laughs> Played in English. Like this. And this nigga over here having an asthma. Man, time. they just little, it's a weird ass sport. People be like, this <laughs> thing. Hey man, you may not nah. you may not think a lot of it, but this is the highest I ever came in. This is weird, man. A bunch of motherfuckers eating peanut butter and jelly and bananas and shit. Slices. Oh. Weirdest shit I ever did. That's the weirdest sport I ever participated in. That shit crazy. Yeah, you got the FCA kids. Yeah. yeah, I was cold on the high jump. I would win. I couldn't get the form. I was just scissor kicking. Oh. Like how the Mac. Uh, what was that? Where that nigga jumped over the fence? Yeah, no, that was super fly. <laughs> Or super <laughs> jumped over that fence with no hand. Yeah. That's how I do that shit. 
kick over that shit. I could get like six foot, but after that, but I would win the little shit around where I was at. Around the little, yeah. yeah. I ain't get that far, man. I used to get to run and snap bubble and, and my shit. other cousin went to the Olympics. He got 12th place in the high jump this year. 12th place? Hell yeah. In the Olympics? Mm-hmm. All right. Hell yeah. Hey, man, how high the fuck you got to jump to get 12? What is that? Them niggas jumping like 6'6"? Six, six? No, he can What's jump high? like seven, seven feet. Seven six. shit is, that's, that's what, yeah. that's where they, that's I what humans the, do the, now. Yeah, it's like eight something. That, that eight, one. eight. You gotta jump eight to be to break a record. Yeah. Eight. Something like that. Damn. Eight feet, bro. Off one leg. Your body. No, your body plus somebody. You gotta do it off one leg, but that's the only way to do it. But I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, that's the proper if, way if, to if do you, shit. If you could do it off two, you a cold motherfucker. You scratch if you do it off two. Is that is that the setup? I think yeah, it's got to you got to do it off of one leg or some shit. Yeah, it's probably accurate. I mean, that's how I did it, but I just kicked my leg off. Oh, okay. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't, I couldn't never get that whole bit in your body and kick yeah, your feet. Yeah, well, but once you get it down, it ain't. Tell me that. I couldn't, bro. Yeah. I couldn't get my body to do the yeah, dolphin well, shit. For real, I don't even know how to throw their body and flop right and away. And then get it to where they move in this way so it's giving them momentum so they just gotta get like man i watched that, that shit be crazy. Olympics too man and they do the high jump and they Shout get too to close Peacock. to the edge and jump clean off the mat that shit be fucked up all right man i'm through talking to y'all motherfuckers. we gotta go it's time to go k-dub tell them where to follow you at again man hey man follow me comedian k-dub one on social media comedian k-dub one on everything and you got the move with Booster coming out. Got the move with Booster coming out. Couple but when the shit, when you find out when it's coming out, come back and let's talk about it. Hey man, it's coming out soon, man. That shit gonna be dope, man. I like it. I like the little acting shit. Clayton, what you got you coming up? I fuck with you. What All you? the shit you pop in, I'm glad to see motherfuckers being shit. What you got coming? Uh, November. It's coming in November. Just wait till November. November. Right. Yeah. And you know, we always trying to get down. Match your business? Sell something. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we always trying to sell something, so. Okay. Get a deal. Make a deal. All right, bet. Damn. Coming out with some sweaters. Eat a meal. Damn. Some sweaters. Some knitted sweaters. Oh, that shit sounds good. Yeah, no, I'm just bullshit. I don't know what Keep I got. Keep it real. Keep it's gonna real. Be yeah. nice. Stay tuned. Cut a deal. Cut a deal. Bro, don't let this be the last time you come through the Eat trap. A meal. Eat a meal. Hey man, no, you know it ain't. Clayton, anything you want to leave him with? Oh man, hey. uh, this has been brought to you by the Children's Television Workshop. Okay, nah, bet. Real talk. We out of this bitch, man. J O N. Anything? What time is it? Party time. Excellent. Hey man, this is the 85 South Show. We have this bitch.